Do you ever get the feeling like you're way in over your head? Maybe on the outside, you show the world that you're more than capable of handling what's in front of you. But on the inside, there's that voice, that inner voice that speaks to you and tells you to run away, to just go home, to go back to the life you once lived. You, you don't have to keep doing this, you tell yourself. You can go back to your family, your friends, your mentors, the people who have kept you in check all of these years. But would you really feel satisfied? Would will you ever feel satisfied now that you've seen what this world really is? It's hard to go back to them. It's hard to go back to what you once were. But the feeling remains. Maybe you are in over your head. As the four of you take another glimpse at the body in front of you. A man, his head completely torn from his body. Once again, it's a murder that feels unnatural and it's time to get to the bottom of it. Last week, our cell, or a couple of days ago, I guess, our cell of Marcus, the smooth talker, who thinks quickly and on the spot. Ray, working under the radar and well-connected. Dr. Finn, inquisitive and obsessed, overly obsessive. And Edge, fast on his feet and ready to prove himself. You all were brought to the Taste of Chicago Festival near the Navy Pier with all of its various kiosks, booths, pop-up stands, and crowds that continue about their nights despite some of the events that have occurred this evening and the prior evening. The show must go on. The money must flow for Chicago. It doesn't matter if there were a active and ongoing investigations. Now, two federal agents from the Special Affairs Division stare you down and walk towards you. At first, it looked like the two agents were ready to apprehend and arrest you. They move in closer and they look all four of you up and down. My name is Special Agent Martha Crow, and I do think you all need to stand down. So we're yeah, not. No. So oh. at the end of the last episode, uh, Jerry Osborne, the other agent, Yes. Went to grab for us, so are yes. we... He's not immediately grabbing you now. The okay. two of them stand down, and they look more like they're ready to talk rather than immediately pull you away. Okay. Also, quick programming note, because I have to, because you're not looking at Discord. <laughs> we forgot the Zencaster. Shit! <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Um... <laughs> To everybody uh, watching, we're also recording this so that um, <laughs> we may uh, bring these into podcast or audio only format. Uh, so I'm going to quickly do that right now. Ep2 Hunter. Uh, and if my players wouldn't mind just joining us, and I will go ahead and start this. And I can so just. Uh, posted, I will be in. There yep. I will redo the intro uh, without the audio for the audio only version. Uh, let us know in chat, everybody, if you if you actually like audio only like podcast versions of shows, because that's something we're kind of experimenting with with Rise of the Conduit and these World of Darkness games. So let us know uh, if you uh, prefer that. Cool, cool. Like we're all in, boss lady. All right. Yep. So Special Agent Martha Crow stands in front of the four of you <laughs> and Jerry Osborne, Gerald Osborne, Special Agent also stands behind her, but she walks forward in f close approaching all of you and does ask you all to stand down. What do you do? I'll, uh, seeing that, seeing that this asshole is not going to put his hands on me, I will, uh, I'll just like cross my arms. Do these, two seem, do these two seem familiar to me from like my 
previous exploits, like at all? I'm gonna say no. You actually have not seen these agents, and you've not heard much about this particular division that they're talking or that they say they claim to be part of. Um, this is not normally. This is not the police. You can tell. This is something different. What did they call themselves again? SID? SAD. Special S Affairs Division. This is Bad. an unusual threat <laughs> response. And look, we know what you are. We know we've seen groups like you before try to meddle in these kinds of investigations. Uh, we won't have that for this one. Uh, uh, metal? How are we meddling? We're just out for a Not adventure sure. on the town tonight. Yeah. Not sure what you think you know. Mm. I have no idea what you're talking Can't about. Can't friends just go to Navy Pier? She looks back to her partner, Gerald Osborne. I think we know a lot more than you believe, Ray. Dre, right? So I checked. I don't have to answer any of your questions. No? Hmm. Well, there's a thing. We got a body with its head blown open and a known gun runner showing up to the scene of the crime. It seems like probable cause for me. So unless you want a felony charge for assaulting an officer, you'll come with me. Answer a few questions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, Agent Osborne. Uh, special Agent Osborne. Whatever. Um, look, I don't know what you think you know. Uh, this is Navy Pier. There's cameras around. Wouldn't you have heard a shot? Taste of Chicago. You're coming at us like, like we're prime suspects? That's why we're asking questions. questions. Yeah, well, I'm asking questions as well. Yeah, and we're giving answers. We got nothing to do with this. Yes, yes. Cameras, we'll right? We can see cameras. So if we uh, if we go ahead and look at the footage from tonight, we won't see you all uh, at the uh, crime scene from last night, right? I mean, Not talking look, to some of the suspects? I mean, was it taped off? Is asking questions illegal nowadays? Hmm. Hmm. wonder. Interesting. She takes a look at you, Edge. It's a nice blade you got there, kid. No, it's just a prop, you know? Yeah, um... You wouldn't... Repl replica? Hmm. I've, uh, trained myself in swordplay, you know? When I was younger, I, I remember what it was like to... want to use swords and be cool like that. But, uh, do you have a permit for that sword? Of course I got a permit. Well, you want a chip? <laughs> you know, carrying a sword, an actual blade that can harm people, is a misdemeanor. Well, I'm sure you have bigger fish to fry, right, Special Agent? Hmm. Look, we're not really looking to, uh, arrest or apprehend any of you. We just have some questions, if you're willing to answer them. You can ask us right here, right? You ask questions. Can we ask questions as well? Look, we're just, we're just interested. We're just, we're just trying to, you know, we might have walked down this alley, heard there was some commotion, simple as that. Hmm. Mm, yeah, yes. I'm not asking you. Ray. Make this easy on us. He puts his hand on his gun. I don't think you want to do that. Uh, all, right, all right, Agent Osborne, let's take it back a second. Why don't you take it back? Really? Me take it back? Are you... Are you... Are you willing to blow 
Five years of hard work, Agent Osborne? Do you, do you know who I am? The fuck are you talking about? And Finn will reach in his back pocket and pull out a CIA badge. Uh. Special, Special Agent Steel. Out of the Jackson Division downtown in the loop. Here, you can check it. Call it in. Mordecai Steel, go ahead. Be my guest. Now, unless you want to blow five years of undercover work and talk to Joint Chief Buchanan on Monday and be assigned to desk duty in the Fay Division, do you, Agent Osborne, do you want? Do you want to be on the Fae Division? I don't think you do. We can work together on this. CIA <clears throat> normally would not be doing clandestine operations, I believe, on U.S. soil. So yes, that doesn't mean they never do. But of something of this variety, I'm it's just going to want make, It's also a make-believe world. <laughs> totally, totally understandable. But I would yeah. like, you, I, if I may, uh, storyteller, can I get mm -hmm. a, like a persuasion or intimidation or? I will, yes. Um, <laughs> would you mind rolling me a charisma manipul... Uh, you could do charisma manipulation or charisma persuasion, whatever you feel your character, if they're being more manipulative or if they genuinely are like, I'm a fucking CIA agent. Uh, I know you do have a mask. Uh, you have dots and masks, so whatever, whatever you feel works for Finn. Uh, it's H roll. Uh, yes. And then uh, how many dots? Uh, one success. Walk with me here. He takes you aside and he walks over away from the others. What the fuck operation you got going on here? Huh? CIA, what the fuck could they be messing with these people with? What, what, what a better team than a couple of pipe hitters and a nerd from a basement to work undercover jobs in Chicago. Undercover? Do you know what you're messing with here? Of course I know what I'm messing with. Do you know what you're messing with? I don't think you do know what you're messing with. Look, I know I have to report to Langley next week on something. So it's only a matter of time I have to report. Look, I, I, Osborne, look, I have a report to do. You're just doing your job. We can work together on this. Look, in, you know, a joint operation between the SAD and the CIA. I'm, I'm not, that, I'm, I'm, fuck this. Imagine I'm that, not, no. imagine listen, that in your resume. Listen, look, look, I'm doing my job, all right? Unless your bosses want to call me. Now, I'm not going to take you in, but I'm going to talk to two of your mooks here. Okay? We're going to get some answers. Look, this is, this is a And team. you just, you stay on your side, all right? I'll stay on mine. Okay. I will make sure that Joint Chief Buchanan knows Agent Jerry, was it Gerald Osborne? Refuse to cooperate. I'll make. I'll put that in my report, making sure. Yeah, you need so me to spell that for you. Yes, please do that. Yeah, uh, it's uh, F U C K. Go fuck yourself. Got it. F -U -C -K, Walks away. K. <laughs> go fuck yourself. Enjoy your desk job, Agent Osborne. Enjoy it. And with one success, though, maybe Gerald does believe you that you are CIA he still knows that he has a job to do and returning back to the FBI with nothing on their hands these two agents don't seem too convinced they look at the uh, four of you Martha, I don't know how long we can hold them but let's grab these two get some answers yeah. Look, catching chasing and release okay the one with the blade and the one with the tattoos on the face Come with us. We have some questions, and we'll let you go. It's a car ride. Me. I'm looking at Finn and Marcus like... Uh, 
why, why, it's... why me? What, what, what did I do? Should be, uh, you... should be easy car riding. We don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. Of course not. Yep. Ben, what do you think? <sighs> Two. Look, I'm just trying to get notes here, all right? Let's just see what they want, need to say, and we'll get out of here. Right. I think it's just, uh, it's a little bit interesting before you guys take your ride that somebody who's part of the Bureau doesn't know about local state laws. I mean, the question about the blade was super interesting, but we're in the custody of a peace officer. Should be acceptable. Yeah, in custody. I don't even yeah. know who this guy is. Exactly. Whatever he's got Which going is... on, not my business. Funny. Like I said, uh... We don't know nothing. Yeah, I'm. I'll. I'll go. I'll go with to the. I'll go with them. All right. Okay. Edge will follow. Okay. Yeah. You all, um, the feds, uh, just kind of wave their arms for you to follow. They don't grab you. They're not roughhousing you unless Lucky you. For them. Yes, and they walk you to, uh, it's kind of off to the side, there is a vehicle. Um, they take you into uh, their car, it's like a black sedan, uh, or not a black sedan, it's like a black, black SUV, um, uh, with tinted windows. And you take another quick look, uh, the four of you, as you, you know, begin to disperse a bit. You take a quick look at the body that is still there, and it looks like the paramedics are pulling up at this point. Uh, you see the lights. You now begin to see some activity of people, like, again, continuing to whisper and, and talk to each other and converse about what's going on. Um, and as you're walking by, the paramedics begin to arrive. And I would like everybody who might be wanting to take a glance at the body now that it's more oh, yeah. in view to roll a oh, wits, yeah. in, wits investigation. Okay. I'm probably bad at that. Uh, if I don't have any pips in investigation, do I just roll the number of die for wits then? Uh, yes, correct. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Oh, gosh, wow. our investigator. Uh, I got a success. Five successes, critical. Holy Give me that shit. info. Ooh, five out of five. Uh, uh, for a note, everybody, in World of Darkness, if you roll two tens, uh, that is a critical. So it counts as four successes total. Plus, he rolled another ten. Um, so that's five successes total. Um, which is wild uh, for uh, our, our Inquisitor. Um, and then we have one success and one success. Uh, so yes, you, this is your specialty, Finn. Uh, you know, maybe you really are CIA uh, or whatever. Maybe you have that background, that training, because you look at this body and you see, uh, it's true, the head is completely blown off uh there from you quickly looking at it from like a forensic point of view it does kind of look like the the bone and flesh uh that you see which is kind of gruesome uh it's more like weirdly misformed and transformed again not like somebody blew somebody's head off with a gun it it looks like it was somehow torn off in some way. Um, the bone and flesh are like sh kind of m transformed. Um, mangled? Mang yeah, in, in, yeah, in a sense, yeah. Uh, you see also the shoes. Um, you notice uh, within like the ridges of the bottom of their shoes, you notice there's some uh, soil. Uh, some topsoil maybe uh, in their shoes. And you also see in coming out of their pocket, uh, their back 
pocket is a pamphlet uh, that looks kind of familiar. Uh, it looks like it might be that pamphlet from that nice couple, uh, that nice religious couple um, from earlier. So those are the three things. With five successes, you gather all of those things from a glance at the body uh, laying behind the tape. All right, um, watch your head. Watch it. your head as he helps you get in the car. You know, I've never been in a police car before. Ray just stays silent. Mm. Uh, the two take you, um, and you sit in the back, the way back, uh, while they sit in the front two seats and begin driving. Uh, they drive you guys off of the pier. Uh, not off the pier. Today. Oh my, <laughs> Jesus. To your first death. Win. Let's go. <laughs> they drive you out uh, back into the city uh, and begin driving you to uh, a local headquarters. Um, it's not, honestly, not that far. It's probably like a 10 to 15 minute drive. Uh, the drive there is kind of quiet. Maybe there's a couple of comments from Edge uh, from time to time, but the feds don't talk to you during the car ride, and they don't really talk to each other either. It's rather yeah. quiet. The FBI building in Chicago is in the loop. Oh. So, yeah. Thanks. Uh, okay, so you guys do go to the loop, and it's probably, and it's not that far off from the pier, so. But heading back to the pier itself, we see our two remaining cell members, Marcus and Finn. You both uh, begin to see the paramedics come in and begin to take the body. Uh, and you do see also as the commotion is beginning to, or some people are kind of crowding around now at this point, the fair is also uh, coming back to, uh, coming to an end is is agent crow still there did she did she leave with agent osborne the two or... of them left yeah got it okay both the agents left and are there cpd officers there and stuff like that uh there are a couple of officers there as well got it okay um if if i could if i could um well i you know i i used my my you know my fake badge on officer osborne uh could i get into the crime scene with it by showing it to any other CPG officers? Like, is, is there more to learn from the body if I can get close? Um, you are able to um, use your credentials and I won't have you roll for this uh, because you, you have them and they're pretty legitimate to the CPD. Uh, they actually just give you a quick rundown. They give you the name of the, uh, the victim. Uh, his name is Aaron Wilkins. Uh, he's I, another, he's probably like in his early 30s. Um, he was a, uh, not, he was a businessman, but he wasn't, um, he wasn't like a major, like, corporate kind of guy. He, he was dressed kind of nicely, but not like, uh, super, like, suit and tie kind of thing. Um, that's about all the additional info they give you. Uh, and you, again, gleaning at the body a little bit more, you're not able to uncover too much more about uh, the victim. You got you got a pretty good eye on some of the main, the main things. Uh, oh, you're muted. Uh, Whoops, Chris. sorry, sorry. Uh, so, Marcus, what do, you, what do you think? What do you, what do you got? <clears throat> Honestly, right now, I'm just trying to be unnoticed. I don't like a lot of flashing lights. Nah, you'll be fine. You're with me. Yeah, Mr. CIA. What the hell was that? It's fake. Shut up. I kind of figured so, but yeah, I mean... Yeah, now, 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 now it's burnt, and now I got to spend a lot of money to get a new one, okay? I got pretty... Yeah. Probably find somebody. Uh, I gotta find a new cobbler. My guy's got—he <laughs> he, got—he got sick with working with me. I don't know why. I, 
Yeah. I go through a lot of these, so he's probably running out of uh, connections. But anyway, um, uh, his name's Aaron Wilkins, early 30s, uh, kind of dressed nice, probably some sort of businessman. Um, he had one of the pamphlets from the religious people out on the pier, that you know, this, the one that I stole from him as well. Um, you able to get hands on a wallet? No, no wallet, but unfortunately i got the id from the, the information from the paramedics and the cops um his head is it's you know agent osborne said gunshot wound or you know accused ray essentially but that that Pretty head good. is that head is torn yeah there, we all saw the head right uh yes yeah. you all saw the, the yeah. head got it yeah, yeah i was just confirming because yes. uh yeah i didn't want uh, you know because he said Blaming the, the you know the gun runner essentially. Yeah, no. yep. um, interesting soil samples in his shoes. Something I mean, to think about. We are at the side of the pier, maybe running away from something. True, true, but there's not much soil. I mean, you have the beach, which is sand. Navy Pier is all concrete. The only thing I can think about is the botanical garden inside. So. Well, Chase, chase by something, going through a highly populated area potentially to find safety in numbers. Runs through the botanical garden into the fair, ends up down here where he gets caught. And interesting, two murders within Navy Pier. It's obviously a hunting ground. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's easy picking, especially at oh, a time absolutely. like this. Alcohol, Dude. food, reverie. Absolutely. What was his name again? Aaron Perkins? Aaron Wilkins. Aaron Wilkins? Yes. Uh, here, let me see something. Business type. I might know somebody that knows something. Let me make a quick phone call. Or, you know, maybe like a quick Twitter or Facebook or MySpace, whatever you kids use nowadays. Mm. You know, you're not that old. Yeah, but I hate technology. Noted. Uh, all the books, too many things, all these lights go beep, 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 beep. Yeah, too easy, I get too it. Easy, too easy to track you, you know? Yeah. Yeah, let me make a let me make a quick phone call. So just um, roll me. Um, I'm going to have you, be, because you're using your contacts, um, I would say have me roll me a charisma streetwise. Christmas. Or and then Okay, cool, 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 cool. What is it? It's slash it there it is, got it. Got uh it. yes. Yep, you're good. Uh it's three successes for what it looks like. Three successes. Okay. Um so you give a call to your uh, your contacts, and they don't have too much information on this guy. Actually, um, it they may have heard the name. It sounds familiar from something. Maybe he works for like a big like he works maybe in the Loop in Chicago, um, but they don't. Uh, have too much info on him. Okay. Um, I make a. Your, anything from your guy? No, it's he might work inside of the loop, being he's a business type, but yeah, yep. it's pretty quiet on the lead line. I make a second call storyteller to my nana. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> you call up uh, your nana. Oh, is that you, Marcus? Yeah, Nana, it's me. Uh, just uh, working late. Uh, you're not coming to the taste, right? Because I know my uh, cousin Chauncey was going to probably come pick you up, do some errands and stuff. Oh, yeah. Me, we were going to we go every year. Uh, yeah. Me and the girlies uh, at the uh, at the clubhouse were going to go. Yeah, it may not it may not be too safe for the girlies. This go around. Oh. You, what do you mean? Are you... Uh, is everything okay? Oh, I'm fine. Yeah, no, it's just... 
there's a lot of stuff going on this year at the taste and i, I just want you to be okay you might want to skip it this year or i'll take you myself next time oh, oh okay well are you are you uh are you going to come over this weekend then oh absolutely you making that banana pudding i'll be there mm, first one you know <laughs> i can make the best banana pudding and i know you love it yeah. All right, then. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you go. Just 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 be safe. And if you do go out, um, I got you that new phone. Just just send me a message. All right, sweetheart. Yeah. All right. And I hang up with her. Uh, yeah. No. Um, my my contacts don't have anything solid. It'd be kind of if we could get a hold of his wallet, maybe like a solid ID or a business card or something could send us in the right direction. But I honestly think it's more so of the area as opposed to the people <clears throat> i mean he, also, did have a, he, he did have a pamphlet from uh the uh, church of the rose we could, could could go try to talk to them and see if they could fill us in yeah with anything. i'm gonna ask you about that yeah. like it's, did um rebecca and joey did they they said they spoke to them too or they ran into them? uh i don't have anything like that in my notes did no, they did not actually talk to the religious group. Um, the they just happened, you guys happened to walk past them uh, and they handed uh, Finn a pamphlet. Okay. Too much of a coincidence? Question mark? I mean, a lot of people probably handing out a lot of pamphlets. Coincidence? Mm -hmm. Yes. Suspects? Not really. Uh -huh. Is it worth checking out? I mean, Ray and Edge, well, Ray will be okay. I feel as though that Edge will probably be tossed out of the car for asking too many questions. Yeah, or or he'll just totally flop one or the other. No, I think Ray will keep him pretty close to the chest. He's, he's, he'll be all right. Uh, we can go talk to the Order of the Rose people. I do want to go into that uh, Botanical Gardens, though. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wanna drop that first? I mean... Let's do how, it. How late is it? Uh, it's getting toward the end of the night for the festival. It's probably like 10, 11 o'clock now, and okay. they close yeah. around now. You yeah. can see a lot of stands starting to pack up um, and people head out for the evening. Got it, okay. Um... What do you think? Churchgoers or botanical gardens? Botan Look, if, if he had soil on his shoes... We're going to find something at the garden. We're probably, we're, we might find something at the garden. Or the thing hunting him could be in that garden. Yeah. We Probably. can do it. Look, I mean, I'm, he, I'm down. Like he, you know like me, he, I'm, he, al I'm, al I'm always down. He shoots you a smile. He's like, I mean, you know, we can... We can do I mean, it. I'm not useful in a fight, but maybe I can uh, pick something up, you know? We'll make it quick. So if we need to go back, we'll have everyone around. All right. Hi. At least we'll have something. So uh, you all head over to uh, the Free Leaf, which is a botanical garden. Um, it's also like a plant and nursery shop. Uh, and as you head over, we will cut back to our two who are with the feds. Um, Great, we love to see it. So Ray and Edge, you two have been taken to this building in the loop and you've been left in separate interrogation rooms for over an hour now, you've been sitting and waiting. And after about an hour, uh, Ray, they come to your room first. You see the two agents walk in. Thank you for waiting, Ray. Ray, uh, just had an interesting talk with your friend Edge. <laughs> Interesting guy. Mm -hmm. Sure he did. 
Says you guys are hunting something. Wouldn't know anything about that. No? No. Sniff around two different crime scenes. I don't, I, I don't, you know, I'm just curious. What do you, what do you think it is? This thing, you, you don't think it's an animal attack that killed that guy by the, uh, back in the alley downtown, do you? You're not dumb. I think, I don't know anything about that. Well, you know, look, I don't know what thing you got going with your CIA friend if, uh, if he's having you run guns for the cartel or what, but we're not trying to get in your way. We're trying to find out who's dropping these bodies. So, you know, we're willing to work with you. We're willing to talk. Or, you know, could just send my partner here back in there with Edge. See what else their information she squeezes out of him. <laughs> and sh I sure can squeeze. <laughs> I mean, he's just a kid, right? He's not hardened like you. We got him to squeal a little bit. Maybe we'll make him squeal a little more. <laughs> Ray just sits there completely serene, watching them silently. Look, Ray, Reyna, right? We uh, did a little little digging on you, Reyna Cruz. Uh, part of some bike gangs from California or something. I don't know what brought you here to Chicago, but... Uh, you must have made a lot of enemies along the way. Do you really want the enemies of us, the SAD, Special Affairs Division, that hunts the kinds of things that you've got yourself caught up with? Just, you know, we wouldn't want anything to happen to your poor, your poor two friends who are back, who are back over at the pier. There are already two murders, and if they meddle a little bit too more, there might be a third. Or, you know, maybe we got this all wrong. Huh? Maybe, uh... I don't know, I've been thinking about it. Martha, you think maybe... You think maybe they work for this thing? Whatever it is? Maybe they clean up after it? We have seen that before. Yeah, Take a maybe. little taste of the... of the leech's blood, and then they suddenly are all their best friends. Yeah, maybe they're ghouls, huh? Yeah, yeah. Do you even know what a ghoul is, Ray? <laughs> you could tell she's starting to get pissed, but she doesn't say anything. Hmm. Well, we tried. Yeah. Let's see if Too we get bad. more luck with the kid then. Yeah. We'll be and back. She, uh, the two of them take their leave and they head to you, uh, Edge. As You're... soon as they turn around, she like full on flips <laughs> them off, just like fuck these guys. <laughs> and uh, it's been an hour. Your bag of chips is empty, Edge. And you asked for a drink of water. You asked for a snack. <laughs> they didn't bring you anything. You've been sitting here staring at the wall for the past hour trying to kill time, waiting for these two federal agents to enter, and they finally do. They walk in the room. Ah, Mulder and Scully back again. Ah, yes. Gilbert, right? <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert? Uh, I... Gilbert Bottom Swallow, right? <laughs> I... uh, Edge. Edge is fine, thank you. Uh, Edge, cute name, cute nickname. You thanks. couldn't have picked anything a little uh, more on the nose. I actually couldn't have. Um, what's what's y'all's favorite X Files episode? You know, I mean, my, I'm season seven, episode twelve. That's my favorite. I, 
think it's the one where they uh, caught the kid with a used katana down by the pier. You know, it's funny. My partner was telling you, you know, it's a misdemeanor to carry a blade that big. But, uh, of course, unlawful use of one, <laughs> that's a felony. It's a minimum three I mean, I... years. Oh. Is it? Whose blood do you think we found on the hilt? If we go asking know. around, you think... Oh, maybe we'll get a hit on CODIS if we check at the DNA, huh? You can check the DNA. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. Are, are you going to call my mom? <laughs> <laughs> Please, you don't have to call her. That's fine. You know, she doesn't... What, what would she think, knowing her precious boy is being interrogated by two FBI agents? She'd probably be a little upset, but yeah, you don't want to upset her. She's... Hmm. I think she's going like, to be pretty I, I don't upset it... when she finds out you're doing three years in Juliet. I, y'all have nothing. I'm I'm not worried. All right. Mm -hmm. Look, Gilbert. Ed. We just we just want to know what you and your little friends were looking for back at the pier, and then you're free to go. No misdemeanor. No look, felony. Look, I like movies, okay? I work at Hollywood Video, all right? I'm the day shift manager. I like movies. We were just hanging out at the pier. We saw some crime scenes. I love horror movies. I was interested, so we went up. What do you... Saw some crime scenes, huh? Yeah. Is that a crime to walk Pretty up to Pretty gnarly, right? The, yeah, uh, the uh, supposed animal attack. The other guy. What do you think did it? I don't know. What do you think? Seems pretty crazy, Come right? Come on, Gil. You watch all the X-File episodes, right? I, Pretend this is an episode of X-Files. What do you think did it? I mean, it could be a number of things. Like, What's your first guess? I don't know, some kind of, maybe it was a were lizard. I don't know. A were lizard? Yeah. You don't believe those are real, do you? It was in the X Files. Mm. Listen, Gil. We're sort of like the X Files, you know? We, uh, we investigate things like this, we help people. We've seen you guys skulking around the crime scenes. Heard a thing or two about your friend Ray. We got her on gun trafficking charges, so she's probably going to be telling us quite a bit soon. Thing is, we're just trying to hunt a monster, me and my partner here, so... Whichever one of you tells us what you know, what theories you got, what leads you're working, that one, we're going to let go. Now, obviously, I, I, you didn't do anything that serious. A, a blade, maybe cutting someone with it three years, not that bad. But but Ray, gun runnings, that's, that's, that's messy. I, there's one person I'm not worried about. That's Ray. Ray, not worried I'm about I'm not worried her about her either. I'm... I think she's probably going to tell us what we want to know and then we're going to let her go. But then I feel bad because we're going to have to hit you with that felony charge and we're going to have to go tell your mom. Look, did you say a creature? You think a creature did this? I thought yeah. earlier you were saying something about a gun. You, you accused Ray. You think a creature did this? That's This is like we an X-Files episode. We don't talk about the real deal out there on the streets. You know how it is. We Would know you consider what's going yourselves on. more X-Files or more Men in Black? Kind of how you operate. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think, Martha? Are we Men in Black or are we X-Files? Mm -hmm. Well, you wouldn't want us to uh, see what happens if you don't comply, do you? 
This isn't like Men in Black where we just shine something in your face and you forget. It's a lot I worse mean, we can make that. them forget, but it's going to involve a lot of head trauma. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I've read over all of my rights many times, so I'm... Y'all can't do anything to me. I think it's really that this little group, y'all are trying your best to uh, keep these monsters off the streets, but the truth is you don't even know what it is yourself. He thinks he's hunting a were-lizard. Yeah. It's cute. You all try to uh, do these investigations without any of the resources that we have and think that you can do something about it when you really don't know anything and you're in way and over your head, kid. Look, I may not be, you know, have the brains like Finn has, but uh, I do know, even with all y'all's resources, y'all don't know anything because y'all wouldn't be asking me if y'all did. Mm-hmm. How about I this? We, we share know. what we have. You share what you have. I, I told you, I, I don't... We just saw the crime scenes, thought they were interesting. I'm, I'm just a movie fan. <laughs> you know, I just thought of something. Martha, we didn't give this guy his phone call. Hmm. Yeah, maybe he's going to call his mom. Uh, you know what? Better yet, I'll help you out. Let's go ahead and dial her right now. Yeah. Okay. She Cheryl like pulls out a phone her. and starts dialing. Uh, numbers uh, 838-555 and starts rallying off the numbers. That, that's it, right? You uh, think she's up this late? No, she usually goes to bed mm. kind of early. So she's going to be real mad when she gets a phone call past her bedtime about her son. Look, you, you guys don't, y'all don't have to do that, all right? You don't have to do Look. these calls. Look, I don't know nothing. I told you, I'm not the, I'm not, I'm no brains, all right? I just like movies. I got and my I'm, number, I got my thumb on the call button. Bob and I aren't going to answer anyways. It's, well, let's find look, out. I pressed the call look, button. Ask ask me specific questions and I'll give my best answer, but I don't know anything. You hear the phone ringing. As the phone rings and rings, it goes to voicemail. You have reached the home of Gilbert and Lara Bottom Swallow. Please, I hang up. leave a message. See, I told you she wouldn't answer. It's fine, we'll See, call her again. You know, she's probably a deep sleeper. <sighs> she is, yeah. I pick up the phone and I call her again. They just, this is just silly. Y'all are silly. Y'all aren't Men in Black or X-Files. Y'all are kindergarten cop. The phone rings, rings, rings. I'm going to hang up, and then I'm going to act like I'm answering. Uh, hi, yes, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Bottom Swallow. Put, put it on speaker. Yeah, no, uh, I'm sorry. We have your son here. Yeah, no, this is, uh, this is uh, Gerald Osborne of the FBI. We... Um, we caught him on some pretty serious charges. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's not looking too good. Um, we found him at the scene of a crime. You know, you know, I can hear there's no one on the other side of the line, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, at this time, Martha takes her hands and slams them on the desk in front of you. Listen, Gil, you're going to tell us what you know, or else you're not leaving this place, and your mother is going to have to come pick you up. I don't know anything. What do you want from me? What have you been looking for? What did you find? What manner of creature do you think it is? We know you know it's a creature. I mean... Anyone with eyes could have seen that head wasn't taken off by... Yeah. 
a blade or a Of gun. course not. But I don't know. That what do you think I, it I, is, Gil? Why don't you tell us? I don't know. Was it wasn't me. It wasn't me or my friends. That's all I know. What, what you, are I, your friends investigating, Gil? A, a good time at the pier? What? It's fine. I didn't mean to mess with you, kid. I'm just trying to help you out. Look, but if you don't want to talk, we'll go. We'll go see what Ray has to say. Are you charging me with anything? Depends. How eager Ray is willing to talk to us. I don't. That's. I don't think that's how it works. It is here. I think we would go back and talk to Ray. And at this point, the two of them do leave. And but chips and a drink, please. If only you given us a little information. And she pulls out a bag of chips and starts eating a bag of Lay's potato chips Ooh, as she walks out of the room. This bitch. Top tier as well. And we cut back, before we go back to the room with Ray, we cut back to our two at the pier, Finn and Marcus. You head over to this greenhouse, um, and it does look like it's closed down at this point. Um, though some of the other uh, buildings around are closing down, it looks like they close shop uh, either pretty quickly or early. Um, and I want both of you uh, to roll me a, a wits and awareness. Say that again. Uh, wits, wits awareness. And I'm going to say uh, for you... Depending on how you roll, actually, I don't know if you claim, uh, we have desperation dice, um, and depending on how desperate you feel right now, uh, I would say for both of you, you're acting within your, uh, your creeds, uh, so if you wanted to add desperation dice to this roll, I, uh, would allow it, because you have three extra dice to add to the roll. Um, can we, like... Can we know what we're rolling for? Like, what's this wits awareness for? For um, the desperation dice. To see uh, the surrounding area and kind of get a gauge of uh, if you can see how long it's been closed, if there's anything suspicious about it being closed already. So, I would say this kind of role is within your desperation. Got it. Um, and is it all? Is it all three die you use up? Is that what that is? I believe yes. I believe you have to use all three of the desperation dice. Got it. Um. <clears throat> um yeah. I mean, I'm. Uh, I mean, I got, I got five dice for this roll. I don't know what mm -hmm. you got, Marcus. I only got three. Sure, let's let's use them. Okay. Yeah. So you want me to add? Do you want me to do it to yeah. add to? So uh, yeah. Eight dice all, all together then. Yep. And I think it actually does apply more for you because you are inquisitive and you're trying to gain information while on the hunt. Sure. Uh, so I think it does apply more for you. Oh my gosh. Eight successes. Holy moly! Another <laughs> double ten. Which counts Tri as four successes. Triple ten. Yeah, Should I even roll? <laughs> My boy's got it. I was gonna it. say. I was gonna say. Honestly, you don't even need to. Um, yeah. Because uh, you do. Uh, this can't, is. You can't get much better than that. No. Yeah. Uh, Finn, uh, with his keen eye, um, is able to see something within the corner of your eye. Looking back behind this greenhouse-looking pop-up stand of called the free leaf you take a gaze behind and you see out in the alley a creature Ooh. scaling the building scaling a building and running off into the night Ooh. Oh fuck, Finn! Was uh, that? Uh, is that? Yeah, it's, it's, yep, that's uh, it right there. 
fuck, 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 I mean, fuck, I, fuck. Um, uh, I can't climb. <laughs> and I would... S <laughs> I can't climb like that. It's about... 80 plus feet away from you at this point. It moves quickly. It's something you see more in the distance. Gauging by both of your your current uh, status and where you are, it would be hard to chase after something like this. But you Got see it. it. And your eyes... And even Marcus, yes, you're, once Finn points it out, you catch a glimpse of it too. And your eyes do not deceive you. Well, you saw a creature. Uh, finally something, but still... I mean... We can't chase right. that. But... No, hell no. I'm not chasing that. I really want to, though. Wish I could climb Wish. like that. I... Wishful thinking. Uh, listen, so wait. Uh, so, it's, so it's a wolf. Boom. We got that. Um, it's obviously the botanical gardens is something because it's 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 coming from here. What now? What, could I make a library check? Do werewolves have layers? Similar to another onions, like an onion. <laughs> no, like like L A I R S layers, not layers. layers. Not like a din. <laughs> yeah, like another you know nighttime creature that we are familiar with. Yeah, you can roll me a academics. Uh, not uh, occult. Uh, actually, uh, intelligence occult. Should I use my edge library? Should I use that? Ah, uh, yes, actually. Okay, so that's intelligence academics. That's intelligence academics, yep. yep. Critical six successes. Dang, Jesus let's go. Christ. That's my job. Yes, you do know that they have havens of a sense of havens, their own. Okay. Um, and that they, yes, they also tend to travel in packs. Um, so, and they, yes, usually back at their bases, their home bases is usually where they all gather. <laughs> Got it. And with that information, as you all stand there, the camera cuts back to Ray and the two special agents. Ray, we were able to get some good info from your friend Gil Gilbert. Did you know that was his name? Gil Gilbert? Seems fitting. Yeah. Like snitches. He thinks it's a werewolf that did this. It's not a fucking it's... werewolf. Is that what he thinks, or is that what you think, and you just want to see if I say something so fun and informative for you? <laughs> see, that's the funny thing, is... Once again, you all think you know things. You all think you're smart. But you're missing. Oh, no, I've been pretty miss... clear about that. Of course, you... of course. And, uh, Martha, can I call you Martha? You wouldn't be asking me these fucking questions if you had any idea what you were up against, would you? And Maybe I already we're said, just trying to help shit. you out, Ray. Help me yeah. out how? What are you going to do to help me? See, the thing is, I think. What have you done for me thing. lately? Special Agent Osborne. Hmm? We're here to help you because it's not a werewolf you're hunting. No, it's something that I think you'd care a lot about. Love a hint. Love a hint. Super appreciate that. It's almost like those fucking video games that Edge plays, but you know. Fine. Hmm. It's not a werewolf. Cool. Thanks for the tip. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. You think it's the same kind of thing that killed your friend, Javier? What do you know about that? Vamps got him, right? <laughs> it's 
she just thing like is, balls up her fists. Thing is, when we first showed up on the crime scene initially, we thought it was a werewolf too, but didn't seem right. And there was markings of at least three different wolves ripping that person apart. Uh, doesn't make sense. Not here. Even if it was a wolf pack, people would have noticed three werewolves running through an alley. Mm. And the latest victim, he dropped some crime scene photos of the latest victim. You see that right there? That's a eye socket. Thing is, that eye socket's about six inches too big. No one has eyes that big. This man's skull grew three times its size before exploding. Now, you tell me a werewolf that can do that. I wouldn't know one. Hmm. Did you know vampires no. can do that? They can take the flesh of any human or dead creature and craft it into whatever they want it to be. This is standard work for them. So yeah, maybe we are giving you a tip because right. there's no way that any of your little friends are going to make it out alive if you keep going with this kind of creature. We oh, so this is it. this is your good citizen. Don't endanger yourselves. We'll mm -hmm. take care of the problem. See, if you all took care of the problems, this kind of shit wouldn't be happening, would it? Mm -hmm. Would it? And who, who is going to take care of it? Are you? Two bodies already dropped. You're not taking care of it. That's what I know. Yeah. You know so much. You know what it is. You know what could have caused the deformities that the bodies had. How come you haven't caught them? How come two bodies have dropped? We can take care of this thing. We just need to know where. You guys have been on the scene. You've been looking around. You've been asking questions. Where so should we be looking for help. vampire like this? You're not here like because you want to get uh, sure, sure, charge. Sure, sure. You don't want help. Sure, we want help. All right. You don't want to help us? Why didn't you say that in the first fucking place? You come in here and you threaten me. You try to get me on guns charges. You won't find shit. <laughs> you take the kid? Come on. What's the fuck is he going to do for you? Mm. A lot of talk, but I don't still hear, don't hear you helping us at all. I don't really feel a whole lot of motivation to help you, really. I'm not being detained. I could technically leave at any time. Couldn't I? Am I being detained? Would you do like to leave? Call, do I need to call my lawyer? Because I would love to do that. Well, if you'd like to leave, you can do that. Okay. But she stands and moves forward. It won't be that pretty, though. I know you want my help. But I don't have anything for you. Then maybe you and your friends stay away from the pier for the next couple of nights and let us handle it. can't speak for anybody else so I'm not gonna promise you shit well if you see one of them die and they too get their flesh and parts ripped from their brains and body parts all over the place know that it was us that warned you of what you're dealing with they know what they signed up for and so do I which is jack shit according to you so I get up from my chair. 
Next time you want help, maybe try not being such a fucking dick. I take it he can come with me. He's next door, right? You know, you can take him. You can go. You can tell us to go fuck ourselves. That's all fine, but... It just strikes me odd. You claim to be... What, hunters? You claim to be after these things. We come. We tell you what we know. You know why we do intimidation tactics? Because we've done this whole dance a million times with you fucking hobbyist. <laughs> You're so scared of the man that you won't even ask for help when you need it. And you don't even see the help when it's being offered to you. So go ahead, take your friend and go fuck yourself. As far as I'm concerned, you didn't put shit on the table other than it's not a werewolf. So thanks for the tip. That's all you got. I will walk out of the room. Um, you walk out, Ray, uh, and Martha walks ahead of you uh, and heads to the room where Edge is. Um, and Gilbert would lead you down to the room a bit slower where he's being held. But Martha walks in the room beforehand looking at Edge Look, and it's just the two of you. Martha looks at you. All right, kid. You're going to go. You're going to be free to go. But. Fantastic. I just uh, wanted to give you one offer before you leave. You, uh, look, you love the X-Files, Men in Black. You love all those movies. And I think that's good for you. I think it's cute. And it's nice that you uh, you have something you believe in. Yeah, it's called I, passion. You should yeah. learn about it. I have a lot of passion. And that's why I think you would be a good fit to join us. We have the resources you need. We have the tools. We have really everything that you could need to hunt these things. And we could really use a passionate kid like you to join us. And she just hands you a card with her number. I'm not saying you need to do it now, but the offer's there. And she slides it across the table. Your friend will be here in uh, a minute or two to come pick you up. You know, maybe I would have said yes if you'd have given me some chips, you know? A little hospitality would have gone a long way. Luckily, I actually found some in my back pocket. So, joke's on you. Hmm. I've been having a blast. <laughs> She uh, grabs a, a can of Sprite and opens it and takes a sip. Well, glad you found it right when you were leaving. And uh, she exits the room. Ray, you come in. Uh, you got the two of you kind of ma make glances at each other as she's <laughs> walking out. You walk in. Oh yeah, Ray definitely like gives her like the death glare. Come on, kid, let's go. All right, uh, I'll follow Ray out. And as we're walking out, I, I see some analysts looking at my sword. And, I mean, give me that. Is it a toy? You know, hurt yourself. <laughs> I told you we shouldn't have wasted our time with the cosplayers. Mm. Yes, well, it'll be their loss in the future. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> So and we're we're like outside the building. I'm like, man, fuck those guys. They were what assholes. They, they didn't even watch X Files. What they give you? Oh, she gave me a card. Uh, cool. Let me like, see. Oh, there you go. She, yeah, she offered uh, for me to join them. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I got a dozen of these at home. They try this every year. Yeah. I hand it back to them. Yeah, I'm not no sellout. I know. All right, let's go. Let's figure out where the fuck our buddies are and take out my phone. Yes. So you also, guys have a group. Also, you you guys have a group text. Did they search me when they did the questioning? Um, I would say they did a general search. Okay, cool. 
Did they find anything on you? <laughs> nah, not at they all. Have, <laughs> they the wouldn't have gone through bags. your pockets. Um, just taken like your cell phone, if you had a gun, yeah. sword, things like I, that. Yeah, I assume it's like a metal detector kind of thing that you go through and they take any, yeah, anything that's yeah. questionable. No, the, uh, the questionable stuff, I definitely put in the saddlebag on my, on my Harley. So, you all have a group text, um, and now that you're kind of split up, and the evening is getting, it's getting late into the evening, now past a little midnight, about to hit past midnight, where would you all like to go, Marcus and Finn, after seeing the site? Would you like to head back to one of your safe houses for the evening to, to figure out what the next steps you could return to the to the taste tomorrow. I get the group text. Does, Meet up. does the free leaf um does it look like is it like a operating business? It's not like closed down or anything like that? Like um, dilapidated, like a like a storefront that's been closed, or is it like open and operational that we can see from the outside? It, it's open and operational. Um they just closed down for the evening. Got it, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if it was, yeah, like I said, like, closed down or anything like that, so, cool. Mm -hmm. So there's no need to break in. <laughs> Unless you feel like you need to, but it's your call what you guys would like to do for the rest of the evening. Now that the festival's closed, most people are, have head home. Um, you could all meet up somewhere and discuss. Could go yeah, grab some grub, uh, as yeah. you know. <laughs> it's um, Food. you are humans and not uh, kindred or werewolves. Yeah. Uh, so, Marcus, what do you think? You want to visit the Free Leaf, or you think we should come back tomorrow during normal operation hours? And like Finn will like <laughs> pull out a lock pick. Like you want to want to go inside? Oh man! Against my better judgment, because I am a little hungry. Or yeah, we can wait it. for tomorrow, we'll wait for everyone. It's probably safer if we wait for everyone, even though I would love to see you do this again. The group text is popping off. Where the fuck mm -hmm. are you guys? I'm hungry. Let's meet up and talk. Tell, t tell him we're about to break into the free leaf. Uh, he texts him back and he goes, uh, say, uh, say, WW sighting. He, Finn can text this, but he's not going to. He's going to tell me. Yeah, he's just telling me. <laughs> WW sighting. Break into free leaf question mark? Send that. Send that. Marcus looks at Finn and he goes, Really? Okay. Marcus types in the group chat, It's a fucking werewolf. We're going to break into the botanical gardens. <laughs> uh, I get that text and I go, I text back. Uh, <laughs> Martha Stewart and Jerry Springer ain't got shit. They think it's not werewolves. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> It is a fucking werewolf. Like, it's just that. It's like, <laughs> like, it is a werewolf. You're using the terms in... Oh, you don't use the... Uh, we have codes for this, guys. We have codes for this. <laughs> WW could put... be anything. It just come Exactly. On. Just... Exactly. It could be anything. But now yeah. you put the evidence right there in the text. You... Now, now you're on a list, Marcus. You're on a list. <laughs> I'm sure that I'm on a lot of lists, man. And if I was worried about all of them, I wouldn't be here with you. Come on. You're going you're gonna to lockpick a botanical garden, dude. I think we can say werewolves in a, ta in a chat. Marcus also texts in the group chat, did she give the kid a card? Yes. <laughs> he did. Yes. He's uh, finally, he's finally been inducted. <laughs> Yeah. Ed just runs back, yes, got card on my way. <laughs> Wait for me. Yeah, no, I mean, let's so do we're, this. We're no. bugging. Yeah, open the door. Well, I'll try to lockpick in. You know, maybe I'll fail. Okay, uh, roll me just a dex larceny. Which I don't think you have any points in larceny. I do so... have one point. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, see, I should be there. <laughs> yeah, I got lots of larceny. Oh no! Uh, I only have I only have one in larceny. Just kidding. Wait a minute. What do you what do you what do, what do you got? Four. All together. Yeah. Three decks. Okay. One larceny. Okay. It would be the same. I got two. You all two. have. Why do you all have points in larceny? My God. Because I'm a criminal. <laughs> I'm a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> My whole background is being oh, a criminal. Two nerds also. Two success. Because <laughs> I'm sneaky boy. I practiced. Sneaky okay. Boy. 
Um, two successes. Um, that's a normal standard roll, and I, I'll say, you know what? This is not a hard lock to pick. Uh, so you are able to uh, open the door. Again, it's also like a pop-up shop, so it's not like it's like super high-tech, high security. Mm -hmm. um, you are able to enter into this uh, botanical slash floral shop. Um, and as you enter, it is dark in here. Uh, there are some lights that are uh, powering uh, an area of it that where there are certain plant life that does need regular sunlight. Um, but for the most part, it's rather dark, it's rather damp, and yes, the floor does have this soil, um, kind of, in a, in a lot of it. Um, and as you're walking around, you see lots of beautiful plants, you see succulents, um, it's a little more humid in this, uh, than it is outside. Uh, it's, um, it looks like you're average plant shop um, slash nice pretty gardens got it got it any anything that might stand out like any plants that um mm. are like extremely tropical or anything that like you wouldn't plant in chicago or sell in chicago things that like would give off a red flag like why are there why isn't it there a rainforest fern being sold at a plant shop or anything that would you know, maybe spark interest. Say both of you just roll me a wits investigation to see what things you might uncover in this. Four successes. Four successes. I only got one. Okay. Um, Marcus, I would say that you only see that, um, there are there are some things that aren't indigenous to Chicago, but it also doesn't look that weird because, again, this is kind of like a a plant shop that has all sorts of like exotic plants. So it's just they're also just powered by like various lighting and things like that. They may be more tropical, but uh, it doesn't seem off to you uh, when you're investigating. Um, for you. Uh, Finn, as you're investigating, and you have a bit more of a keen eye for this, you notice some of the pots that these plants are in have interesting markings on them. Um, they look like various, like, lines, um, and they look like, they don't look occultish to you. Um, but they do look like, mm, I'm trying to think of the right word. Uh, esoteric? Yeah, esoteric. They don't look like uh, witchy, like a, like some like witchy vibes or anything like but that. It's, 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 it's a abnormal symbol. But it is an abnormal symbol. Got it, okay, cool. And uh, you rolled three successes? Four. Four, uh, okay. You also find, uh, rummaging through the drawer, a wooden stake. Ooh. He'll hold it up, be like, interesting. I mean, it was like, not too, not too uh, strange for a uh, greenhouse. I mean, different plants need different stakes to grow properly. You need to kind of build them up. But this is, this, I'm just gonna put that this in my bag. That one's, too big to holster a plant, though. I mean, I, 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 have you ever seen my tomatoes, Marcus? Yeah, I have seen your tomatoes, but tomatoes also grow on a wire vine upwards. You don't really stake them in with... My nanny used to be a botanist. Um, <laughs> that's... You know what that is, Finn. I, I, know, I know. I'm just trying to ease through uh, myself in this very dark greenhouse with these UV lights. Okay, UV lights, UV lights. I'm not sure. I th I, th I think vampires only react to actual sunlight, not UV. But I could be mistaken. I'll have to look that up later. Is there any wolvesbane in this greenhouse? Maybe in my question. werewolf book there is a drawing or image of wolvesbane. Mm -hmm. You can also know... look for like. Mm -hmm. Go, ahead, Go ahead, Marcus. 
footprints and I'm looking for footprints and tracks. Mm. Uh, you would be able to see some footprints. Uh, you see quite a few. Um, none of them look abnormal. Um, but you are able to match like a pair of like uh cl- like nicer dress shoes man dress shoes um you do see uh that there and then you see smaller foot it looks like it could be a woman's shoe like women like doc martens or something like a nice combat boot uh but you see uh it's more smaller female size and you kind of see Marcus like notice the footprints and he's matching his foot next to the prince and he's mirroring the steps. It's kind of like that scene from Princess Bride where the prince is like shuffling through the scene sure. to kind of <laughs> to kind of see if it makes it feel like if this was just normal walking or if this seemed like very short and rushed, if it was kind of struggleless. It looks funny though, especially coming from Marcus. Um it, it looks like he's like legitimately like practicing like a like a let's dance dance structure. And he's going back and forth. He's like, oh, okay, no, no, okay, all right, cool. What do you got? Uh, two sets of footprints here. One looks to be like of a male, of a guy, I guess, and then another one is like a boot, but it's small, so it could be like a lady or maybe like a kid or something. It, yeah. Okay, small combat boots, business wear, large size. Mm-hmm, both. 11, 10, 11 size. Uh, he puts his foot next to it and he goes, yeah, 11, 12. Is there a way that I can, like, with my, like, obscure way of trying to, like, dance the dance here, that I can figure out if this was something that was rush or just normal traffic? Yes, um... I would say you don't have to roll for this. It does kind of look like normal traffic, uh like they were just kind of observing a lot of the uh the different plants it doesn't like the male the female footprints actually go behind the uh the like cash register where people can buy plants um so you do see like the female one ends up behind there the male one looks like it was just kind of going down the aisles looking at the various plants but actually doesn't it look like they bought anything or like it goes to the register like they went to go buy anything do I see where there was like something to where maybe like there is a pile of soil that looks rushed through? And is it in and if so, is it in the direction of where the new crime scene was? Roll me just one more wits investigation since you're kind of looking a bit deeper into this. Okay. Uh, and while you do, um, Finn, you have been kind of looking around for Wolfsbane. You do know what it looks like. You don't see any Wolfsbane uh, here in the shop. I only got one success. Uh, with one success, you don't really make out that there's any sort of uh, soil or anything that leads like out of this building and into like toward the the crime scene. It doesn't look like there's anything there. Yeah, nothing that looks like a struggle of anything. Okay. 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 Um. Do we hear anything outside of the normal silence of a closed shop? Hmm. Nope. Other than the the slight humming of UV lights in the background, maybe a occasional drip from the water and dampness in here. Is it's there very a, quiet? Is there a back office type deal? Maybe behind the register or something? A shed? Maybe where they keep tools? Anything that I can like look into or? There's a small shed um, on the side, uh, and then there's just the regular cash register. Okay. Um, I want to peep into the shed. Uh, looking in the shed, you see various tools. Uh, you do find another long-looking stake in here. Uh, and you see other various like pots, and uh, similar to what Finn found, some some of the pots have these very bizarre markings on them. Um, and yeah, just other gardening tools as well. Hey, uh, uh, Finn, come come over here and look at these real quick. These, um, 
these symbols, do they ring a bell? Are the, 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 they're the same ones on the pot, you said? Yes, they look like they're the same. Oh, I saw I saw those earlier on the on the other pots here. I'm gonna make a sketching real quick. Yeah, you sketch, but you're not able to immediately. Yeah, just trying to copy it down. Yeah, understand, but you do. You are able to make a pretty accurate sketch of them. Okay. Man, we're coming up short here. Like I don't. But, but look, look, we we know werewolves are nature oriented. They're nat kind of they they gravitate towards a, a nature type feel. We're in a greenhouse. There's no wolf's bane, and there's wooden stakes here. It's yeah, but wouldn't wouldn't there be like a shattered window or something? You'd think the werewolf just jauntily walked out the back door. Yeah, they can transform. They have human forms. Yeah. So okay, I guess it's kind of like taking your pants off before you poop. Um. Anyway. <laughs> I, I, I I hope you do that, Marcus. It depends on what time of day it is. Anyway, uh, what now? Because we're coming up short, man. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I think I think tomorrow with the whole squad, I think it's it's. We should definitely rendezvous back, and we can come back tomorrow with. Look, we've already done a little bit of due diligence and recon. We can get right to brass tacks tomorrow. Especially Ooh. daytime's a lot a lot safer than nighttime. You know how it is. Yeah. Ray and Edge, you two were coming to meet them at the pier, or were you all going to meet somewhere else? I, uh, I was going to go and meet them at the pier. Yeah, since okay. there wasn't an agreement on meeting somewhere else. So, um, so you, at the, it's about at this time, um, Ray and Edge do pull up. They're, they're a lot closer now with the parking, now that everybody's left. Um, so it only takes you a couple of minutes to walk up oh, to, yeah. the, to the fair, and... Um, you you all meet up uh I back check at this... on my bike before we do that Make the bike sure is good. still there um and uh marcus's car is still parked out farther out uh mm -hmm. and yeah you all uh you all reconvene um at this nursery uh greenhouse then did you did you pick this lock uh yeah of course i did dude you've been doing so proud of you. You've been watching Lockpicking Lawyer. Good job. I have been. No, I mean, reading Lockpicking books, not watching YouTube. Oh, no. oh okay. Um, well, I'm proud of you. Good job. Th thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's been a lot more helpful than I thought it would be. And, and I want to, guys, I had Jimmy Neutron brain blast while I was in the cop car. What's Jimmy so, Neutron? Cartoon. Big, big head. Very smart. He has yeah. brain blast where he realizes something. Like his brain uh, blows up? No, it's a metaphor. Like, I got an idea. Oh, okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. Um, so <laughs> I was thinking of the X Files because the you know, uh, the, the cops and hey, I was thinking. Hey, hold up, we should probably leave the scene of the crime that we just broke in. I was just gonna say that we yeah. should probably go. Okay, I'll explain yeah. as we walk. Yeah. So, so season four, episode five of X Files. So we're walking. Walking yes. and walk yeah. and talk <laughs> back to yeah. the car. Yep. Season four, episode five. There's a cult. And now that religious group we found earlier, they were pretty extreme. I feel like they're more cult-like than religion-like. I think they're the, the culprits. It's a cult, religious cult, and they're behind all this. I think uh, our, our first friend that passed away, I think he pissed them off while he was drunk and uh, did something to them, maybe spat in their face, kind of whatever, yada, yada, yada. And they retaliated. They have, you know, their hitman, people that it pisses, you know, them off, does it for them. Hmm. Man, yeah. That's a, what you that's think? actually not a dumb idea. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Can we get? There you go, food? Boy I'm Scout. Starving. Yeah. I'm Do you guys... let me order pizza to Finn's place? Do you guys have like a diner or like a spot that you like to go to that's like your favorite place to get late night food? The White Chris? Palace Grill. Oh, sorry. Let's go. <laughs> <Here we> go. <clears throat> okay. What kind of food they got there, Chris? It's 24 hour <laughs> diner. Oh, Perfect. hell yeah. yeah. We love a diner. I'm going to get some. Oh, but disco fries aren't a thing in Chicago, are they? <laughs> you can get Euro fries. Uh, not disco. What? I want disco oh, fries. Yeah. 
Anyway, let's go to the White Palace Grill. <laughs> you all uh, head over, uh, Ray on her bike, the rest of you in Marcus's vehicle, over to uh, this diner. Um, and uh, they, you're kind of regulars there. They, they know you guys. You also come usually pretty late at night. Uh, so this is not an unusual sighting for, for the lot of you. Uh, and you all have a sit down. What's, what's the usual order for the four of you? I'm just curious. Uh, hmm. oh. Coffee, not decaf, please. Okay. Just coffee? The, yep. the waitress. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, what about the three of you? Hey, Shirley. You doing good? Oh, I'm always doing good, especially when you guys come here this late at night. I love that. Hey, is Rich in the back cooking tonight? Mm, you know he is. All right, hook it up with that meatloaf plate. I love it. Mm, oh, okay. yeah, sign me up for that, dude. Yeah. Two, two meatloafs? Yeah. I'll, I'll have the usual chicken tenders and fries. Chicken Ranch, tenders? Please. Do you want a, 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 a side soda with that as the usual, or do you just... Of course. Okay. Yeah. Uh, We're going to okay. be up a little bit longer. I need that little or, caffeine kick. Or is it a milkshake night? Oh. Ooh. Hell yeah, it's a milkshake night. Nice yeah, it's a milkshake. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, milkshakes uh, for the two of you, or are we doing a, a round of milkshakes? Nah, ben? everybody, everybody, just, Finn. Everybody. Just, just, just yeah. coffee for me, please. She's I live Finn. in my fantasy world where I'm not lactose intolerant. Yes, I want a milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take uh, the cookies and cream. And she sits you all in your usual booth that's a little bit more secluded from the rest, because... Uh, yeah. There also sometimes is some interesting uh, individuals that come in this time of night. Uh, so uh, she's always happy to see you all because though you all are a little weird and quirky, um, you're nothing like the the weirdos that, that come in and uh, you know, yeah, no, try to nice. try to hit on her in the evening and all that we're shit. We're nice to service people. Yes, yes. So she's I, very happy. Yeah. <laughs> Can we determine how we are sitting? I would like to sit facing the door, please. Okay. Yeah, who's there's it's a booth that's two and two. Who's sitting I'll next sit, to Ray? I'll sit next to Ray. Okay. That's a struggle. That's I think what happens is is that like Finn and Ray immediately sit down and Marcus is just looking at the both of them like, seriously? Uh, <laughs> nothing. Hey Cheryl, I'm gonna pull up a chair. He does not sit in the booth and he pulls it up to the edge of the booth so he can see the okay. door. Okay. <laughs> That's perfect. I'll I'll kind of lounge. I'll be laying across my extra wide wide dangling ones, like... chicken tenders into your yeah. mouth. Yeah, <laughs> living the late night dream. Yeah, <laughs> and not, she, not even a school night. Let's go. She brings you your coffee, your four milkshakes with a little uh, an ex side of extra cherries on the side. Ooh, my um, favorite. And uh, eventually, your food comes out, and the four of you have time to discuss what your thoughts are and how the evening went. So, so did you both remain silent, I assume? Who was the first one to squeal? And he looks over at Edge. Man, I, I got to think they could, they could trick me with my mom, you know, but uh, I didn't. They I didn't called pray. your mom? They, they tried to call my mom twice. Yeah, but uh, no, I said I didn't know anything. I told them uh, I thought it was a wear lizard, you know. <laughs> well, you're half right. One. She just said a, a, a wear red herring. That's what you should have said. No, I <laughs> <laughs> or you should have said nothing at all. Man, he's got a point. Yeah, we'd have been in there for so long. It's fine. Nah, interviews run a lot shorter when you go. I don't know, right? Uh, how, long were, how long were they talking to you? They were talking to me for way too fucking long, man. I stayed silent for most of it, but then they started asking questions about jobs that I've run. I didn't answer any of those questions, but it's clear that they don't have anything. They claim they they tried to give me a tip. They said they wanted to help. And they said it's not dogs. Oh. Confirmed. We did see a wolf-like creature scaling the side of Navy Pier, so... It's crazy. It was ridiculous. They, they told me some details about the two scenes. What do you what? got? What do you got for me? Heads getting blown up. They think it's uh, they think it's blanks. 
Hmm. I think it's blanks, and I got a lot of experience with blanks, and I'm I'm not prepared to disagree with them, but I think maybe we're walking into the middle of some shit. There's no, there's no way dogs and cold bodies working together. Not together. I don't think there's any way. I'd be think, really surprised, but... I think it's war? I mean, that's more likely than them working together, don't you think? True, what else did they give you? They gave Edge your card. He saw that yeah. text. They, uh, they... It's got a first want- card. I know. I'm so proud of my boy. Congratulations. Do it. All right, you're officially a Weebolo now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that feels good. It feels good. Uh, I told the fuck off, but it feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. They they kept saying, "We want to help you. We want to help you." Yeah, which you know is which you know is bullshit. That's all mm-hmm. they ever say. We want to help you as code for we don't know anything and we want you to do the dirty work for us or just stay out of our way so we can get the glory. So they were like, oh, you hobbyists, you think you know what you're doing, blah, blah, blah. Why are there two bodies then? And I said, I can ask you the same fucking thing. Why are there two bodies? They didn't know much. They were fishing for information. They were fishing real hard. Man, fuck those guys. Yeah, fuck those dudes. Well, they know too much about me, though. So That's a problem. When you, guys, job. when you guys got dragged out of that alley, uh, I got behind the tape. I was able to get there. Uh, the head is clearly torn off. It is not blown. You can see, yeah, you can see the, te- the tendons and skin and, and all the viscera and arteries and vertebrae. It, it is clearly a ripping type motion. You know, as it, it was very sheared instead of just like like officer uh i think his name is officer agent go fuck yourself i think he said his name was um, uh yeah osborne no it was yeah, it yeah, was I... no i'm sorry just to clarify it was agent fuck go fuck yourself that's, that's what right. yeah. that's right hold on yeah. i gotta i have to update my notes real quick agent <laughs> fuck last name go fuck yourself okay there it is um, <laughs> um you know they accused you of, of a, a gunshot wound which it clearly isn't um, they had then admitted that it wasn't. So yeah, yeah. they knew. Yeah, they knew that. Fishing as as usual. Um, yep. He did have soil in his shoes, which is then what led us to um, the free too. leaf. Uh, it, but he did also have a pamphlet from the religious people that I'm Ed was talking about. That's what um, I'm saying. His like, name I've is Aaron nothing. Wilkins. Aaron Wilkins. Any ring any bells? Do I what know that the... name? Hmm. Once again, you all can roll. Uh, what did I have yeah. you all roll? Uh, I would just say a intelligence. Ugh. And ugh, I, I won't. No, actually, this is weird, but intelligence and streetwise, which isn't a normal. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'll take it. Would you, uh, sorry, Taylor, would you keep it the same role if, like, I wanted to do the social media search type deal? Um, for a, that kind of research, I would say that is a, um, yes, I would say intelligence streetwise or even investigation. Or mm, tech, te- uh, I- I'm not gonna do technology. I don't think. Um, if you're just searching like basic social media, I got. If you were, go- uh, if you're going deep, I would make technology. I got two yeah, successes. No, two successes. Mm, no, uh, not quite enough. Two or one successes. Two successes. No. Not quite enough. Uh, I think I, I, he may have a Hollywood video membership, but I don't, I don't know much more than that. You said intelligence investigation. Streetwise. 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 To, to see if you can recall the name. One success. Yeah. None of you are able to quite gather who this can person use, is. Can I use a willpower to, to do that? To re-roll my Yes, mind? actually you can. Um you can okay. re-roll two. Yeah, so if you just click re-roll failures, it should allow you to uh, sorry, I keep reminding that you guys can use willpower to re-roll up to three dice, up to three failures, if you want to. Put the wrong one. Um, mm. Four successes. 
Okay, with four successes um, and doing a bit of like searching the name on Twitter and stuff, you are able to see there are some articles uh, that this guy has written. Um, it seems like he writes for like the Tribune or something. Um, he's done various uh, forms of like uh, reviews. Um, um, he's reviewed things. It seems like the more recent things that he reviews is like art. Um, mm. art, sometimes like design, sometimes things like that. Uh, so he's an art critique. Person. Yes. Can you, can you, can you forward that to my security email, please? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So this may be out the way, right? But so this guy. He's a, he he reviews art, right? Classic pieces, things like that. That's his business. Exports, obviously. And then the kid, well, they remember them going through that little artsy fartsy gallery or what have you. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah. Both are in the, yeah. Both are in the yeah. Both are in the both are in the same area. That church group. Obviously, they had to have reached out to both of them, whether or not both of them are receptive or not. Right. Does, does he have any reviews on any art pieces that are currently displayed at the Eyes of Delight? Mm, the articles that you're looking at, um, no, a lot of them are a bit like older from a couple of weeks ago, prior to the Got weeks. It. Doesn't look like anything's been published in the last day or two. Anything commented on the articles negatively, like berating or attacking this guy for his view or, or his opinion on this or something like that? Um, it looks like he definitely has some controversial takes from what you've been reading. Uh, so seems like a like a pretty hardcore critic. And okay. his critique, are they on specific types of art? Like, I'm going way left with it, but like, is he critiquing art of the occult or is he, you know, or are we just talking like flowers and stuff like? He it looks like he does just a lot of general art crit critiques. Um, yeah things that are uh more yeah it doesn't look like it's any specific type of art same person different people every time uh different people every time so the real question here is how are these two murders related they're in the same area location right now yeah. that's it right location so and same. possible visitation to that gallery we didn't get to see so same area, both manner, matter, manners of death were very visceral and aggressive. Um, let's see here. I'm just trying to think, what's the motivation for yeah. these murders? So, uh, storyteller, without, mm -hmm. I don't want a meta game. Mm -hmm. um, would we? And and Gigi kind of, you know, obviously he didn't know either. But like, would we know that vampires don't? kill often like if killing is bad would we mm -hmm. would, would mm -hmm. i know that yeah it's hard to say um okay. no you wouldn't know because okay. meta wise there are all different types of vampires yeah some that are like killing is bad some that are like we don't give a shit but you wouldn't honestly know you just think they're a bunch of horrible evil things and sure. you wouldn't know any of that yeah got it, got it. Freaks. speaking of gg <laughs> Has Gigi tried to contact me? <laughs> Tonight? In the last is, yes. hours? It is yeah. late in the evening. Um, you might have gotten a text from Gigi. Uh, but it, it's like a hey you up text. Though. Yeah, like, yeah, hope you had a good night. Uh, <laughs> smiley face. face. Yeah. A little gif of him going, eh. Hey. 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't respond. We'll be mysterious. Anyway, um... <laughs> oh, you playing hard to get over Leave there. Leave him on red. Let's go. I have to. Gotta... All right, okay. anyway. Okay, so... Yeah, we have let him get a little a, thirsty. We have an yeah, art critic. Uh, the and Free this. Leaf. Update you guys for the Free Leaf. Um, we obviously did confirm some sort of wolf-like creature scaling Navy Pier. Um, mm -hmm. We did also hear an audible howl. Um, oh, yeah. When we were inside, some of the pots had very 
distinct markings that even I am not familiar with. Has anyone anyone seen something like this? And he'll kind of show his notebook and sh- oh. sh- show the... Looks looks cultish to me, man. Maybe we show it to uh, our little religious friends. What, what are they? The, the, the Rose? What are, what are they? Yeah, I don't feel like we should be showing images to these crazy religious people. Is there anything um, on the pamphlet that connects? Or is there anything on the pamphlet that connects to the symbols? Uh, the only thing on the pamphlet you see is lots of flowers, uh, roses specifically, um, beautiful decorative rose like border around it. Uh, it's very pretty script writing. It doesn't look like there's any sort of markings uh, that relate to the the Order of the Rose pamphlet. Uh, yes, no, do I? Sorry, go ahead. No, no, go, 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 go. I was gonna say, do I recognize the symbols? at all um i'm gonna say uh without even making a roll or anything i don't think any of you would have this okay. have an idea of what these symbols are got okay. it okay yeah um we found a couple of wooden stakes inside the free leaf hmm. multiple like, sets of what like wooden stakes wooden like, stakes, like this or... and, he, and marcus pulls it out of his jacket like this oh hmm. yeah that's not that's not very for... That's not for staking in a tent. That's for, uh, yep. Yep, that's pretty metal. Multiple sets of footprints. No, it's Uh, wood. One (laughs) one set was business wear, size 11 to 12. I assume that is our uh, second dead body, Mr. Aaron Wilkins, but non-confirmed, just assuming with the soil that was in his shoes and the size of the footprints and the type of shoe wear, drawing that connection. Um, With a second set of smaller sized rather feminine combat boot like um shoe bit. prints boot prints uh in accordance to his those seem to go behind the counter and um you know possible worker possible owner of the free leaf um hmm. no wolves bane which kind of bummed about but it would make sense if this is a werewolf owned greenhouse to not have your kryptonite growing next to where you work um and yeah, and that's about it, and we got out of there. Huh, okay. So, some things to go on, but I think ultimately we should probably call it a night and uh, reconvene tomorrow. Yeah, smart. Yeah, I agree. That sounds like sounds a good, good. idea. <sighs> the four of you uh, take your last couple of bites of meatloaf and chicken tenders and your last <laughs> sip of coffee leave your uh leave some cash uh, and, a, and a generous tip for your waitress oh yeah, oh, yeah. we leave we leave oh. Shirley a fat tip oh yeah yeah we always we always give her like ridiculous tips yeah she's got two toddlers both boys wonderful yep yeah. <laughs> and you all make your way out and head out for the evening and this is where we will take our break. And when we return, the cell will continue their investigations of the taste of Chicago to find out what is happening, why these murders are happening, and what manner of creature is behind this. We will see you all in just a few moments. Don't go anywhere. See you in a bit. Bye. Blood. Blood.
blood. Reading, reading blood. <laughs> we return for our second half of A Heavy Price, our Hunter the Reckoning Chronicle. So, we left off with the group uh, reconvening after an extremely eventful night, two murders, uh, an interrogation by the special, uh, by the SAD uh, from a division of the FBI, and a bit of a, a look into a greenhouse uh, after seeing a creature run off into the evening. And it, the, the night you all return to your various places of rest, wherever it be, if it's with family, if it's uh, back at your own safe houses, and return the next day to all meet up and get prepped for another eventful evening at the Taste of Chicago, which you do have most of the day, uh, the daytime to do what you need to as the taste starts uh, at dusk. So in this time, is there anything that any of you want to do, grab, prepare before you head out to the Taste this evening? Uh... Well, if people do, people want weapons because I have the ability to get. Uh... What do you got? Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> I've got the arsenal perk. Ooh, okay. Uh, and I also get access to both team requisition, in which I can provide additional copies of the same weapon. Uh, it says up to the margin of the win, so I don't know what kind of role that would require for me. I think it's intelligence. It's it's, I think it's either intelligence and craft or manipulation and streetwise. Oh, my manipulation is though. I'd have to look. Mm. Um, so, um, bu bu I think I have to roll. I think I have to roll for Arsenal and then, uh, oh, it's page 91, by the Thank way. Thank you. Thank you. 90 to um, 91. Yes. So, um, just looking at this real quick. Uh, yes. Okay. So, you... Which one of the perks do you have? The team uh, requisition one? I have... I have... So, I got... I did one perk with two... Uh... Two... Two perks. The, yeah. Yep. So, I have team requisition and exotics. One edge with two. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, yes. Um, if you want to, uh... Yeah, so are you more of a, you have your own arsenal underground, or do you usually rely on your contacts to get you uh, stuff? So, I feel like because I'm a weapons runner, I don't necessarily keep things on hand. Um, although, well, let's see, the checks are probably the same either way. I think it's the same mm -hmm. amount of dice either way for Okay. craft yeah manipulation and streetwise yeah it's the same number of dice either way uh so i guess okay. i'll just say i guess i'll just say maybe right this moment because we're working a job i haven't moved these so i'll say intelligence and craft so i'll, I'll look at my own arsenal what i okay. have on hand yeah go ahead and roll me that and we'll see okay. what you're able to procure here Four dice, no matter what. So, okay, three that's successes. Three, three successes. Do I you, need to re-roll anything? I would say, uh, if you want, you can use a willpower. To, it would just re-roll the one. But if you get four successes, um, okay, that is the difficulty. Aha! Okay, so yeah, on a winning test of a difficulty four, the hunter is able to provide a single personal firearm or melee weapon, such as a sniper rifle, handgun, or high steel combat blade. Uh, get yourself another bl another uh, sword for the group if you want. Mm. Uh, Anyone want to join me? Uh, hmm. Do I have a? Is there a list somewhere in the book of like what kind of weapons I can get, or do they get to pick? Uh, I would say you can pick. It doesn't look like there's necessarily okay. there is like uh, types of like an improvised weapon or a heavy impact weapon or heavy melee weapon, but they don't get super specific. Uh, so you can okay. make up what weapon you want to grab. Okay, uh, so I'm bad at names when I'm put on the spot for these things. Um, I don't know. Good, good guns. Somebody help me. <laughs> I can't um, think right now. 
Honestly, I mean, it depends on how much you all want to be like noticed. Loud. Like carrying yeah. a sniper rifle, yeah. probably not great. You have to have a, mm -hmm. like, a case. You have a big old yeah. case you're carrying around. I oh, would yeah, say, honestly, getting yourself at least just a handgun is probably good because yeah, that at least can probably. be, yeah, yeah, concealed. Yeah. So either, either probably because I don't want to give them too fancy of things, but maybe like handguns or melee weapons. Pistols, so right. you guys can you guys can each pick what you want. Cause, like knowing me, and even if I had rolled my connections, like either way with these successes, like I probably have what you want. Um, I will say, uh, because Marcus you got already four paid me, so <laughs> you got four successes. Um, your contacts. How much are your contacts in the know of what kind of stuff you do? I feel or do they like just think you're just like a general weapons dealer, or do they know you? They think I'm just a weapons dealer, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. I will say. You know, and this is something the four of you would know because uh, Finn brought it up to you. You probably, if you're fighting a werewolf, you know you might need silver. Uh, and I, I don't it's know. Either that or, uh, Marcus, you might be able to get some of your guys uh, and some of the people uh, to craft or get them as well. Uh, uh, with my exotics, I would be able to get silver bullets. It's part of the description for uh, the exotics. Yep. Yes. Rare, one-of-a-kind weapon, blah, 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 blah. Silver bullets. Yep, yep, yep. The difficulty of the test increases in the case of really rare, unique weapons. Um, yeah, I'm not asking for a named blade. <laughs> yes. It's the sun sword. The sun sword. Uh, <laughs> um, do I make you roll for this again? Uh, yes, I would because this was okay. just yeah. Uh, roll Is me it this a same pool. Same pool, and you do need four successes again, which okay. it's a little tough. <clears throat> Gotta win four. Flip of the head. Three oh, successes. Wins. Good willpower. Good willpower I'm, I'm reroll. A, I'm, a, I'm a willpower it. Hey! Yep, there we go. There it Very is. nice. Very nice. So you are able to also, with your exotics uh, arsenal perk, um, you're able to procure silver bullets as well. Uh, you have... It's... Again, they're not... Um, you probably only are able to get, like, four or five. Like, they're not something that's super commonly made. So you don't have, like, a huge array of them. But... You have some. Anything yeah. else that anybody would like to do now that uh, Ray has got this handgun, has got some silver bullets? Uh, anything else during the day? Can I, as part of my weapon thing, and you can tell me if no, can I get brass knuckles that have like silver like coating on them? Um, you might be able to, uh, but you'd have to roll again. <laughs> ah, damn it. Okay. And it's four successes. Never mind. I'll just stick with the brass knuckles. It's fine. Damn. Can I use my extended library? So my once per session roll to look up this icon that I like in my vast library. Sure. Um, I would have, uh, do you have the role again? It's something academics, right? It's intelligence plus academics. Intelligence academics. Go ahead and make that role for me. The difficulty for this is also going to be four. Six successes. Holy moly. Dude. Chris's rolls. Chris's Jeez. rolls today. Have been <laughs> what are you doing over there? It's my job. <laughs> look, look, we get in a fight. You at yeah. your guy's job. You, you guys know, are, like, yeah. yeah, that's, that's what you guys are here for. Yeah. Um, you would, uh, look, and it is, um, it does take some time to research this, because this symbol doesn't... I believe it's, it does say it takes, like, four hours. I was gonna say. Yeah. Uh, this is how, uh, this is how Finn spends his morning, is in these books, uh, for hours. Uh, you guys meet up, and he's still looking in the books. Um... And you do some time to explore. You do see 
eventually after a lot of research and you're looking werewolves werewolves it has to be something related to werewolves you do know that you notice that this mark is written in one of these books it may have some tie to what they call tribes that this may be the symbol of one of them. You're not sure which tribe, but you've seen these, and it looks like it might be it might be one of them. Cool. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, and any other things to do in in preparation for the day? I had to get his uh, morning run in, of course, and then mm-hmm. uh, sharpen his blade and uh, do a couple hours of his shift at a uh, Hollywood video. And then his mom will take it over the rest of the way. And then uh, he'll head over, meet up with the group. Uh, I think, oh, that's sick. Um, I think uh, Marcus spends the, the morning with his Nana um who is also uh deeply religious uh it's it's partially to spend some time with her and then it's also partially to get um and anybody knows in a black southern baptist household um he he grabs a little squirt bottle of holy water it's like that frosted white gray and it has the cross on it and he grabs that yep and he puts it in his back pocket because mostly because of the stakes like he's like obviously there's gonna be vampires along the way um and then i would also like to roll to see if there's an opportunity for a gun in my safe house yes so uh before you leave your nana does um she reads about some of the things uh in the news of what happened at the taste and she just tells you to be careful that seems dangerous and she's keeping you in her prayers and she does do a prayer with you before you leave uh and you feel a little you feel a little bolstered um you feel a little more protected um and i'm going to explain something mechanically i know george always is like you shouldn't do that well (laughs) this is um because she has what's called true faith um and that is actually something in an older hunter mechanic um but because she is a true believer she has true faith you are able to add a plus one uh, or you have a plus one dice pool uh to your role it's kind of like she buffs you uh (laughs) so uh, because you visited her and she did pray over you uh you have a little bolster um against certain creatures of the night um Okay. Uh, uh, only yeah, so yeah. it's only a plus one if it has to do with a certain type of creature, and I will tell you when that time comes. Yo, can, um, can Nana join our crew? She want to be our little support. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. yeah our, 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 our faith, our paladin. Right. Side note: I told my Nana that like I had put her in this game, and she was just kind of st- she was kind of stoked about it, but she also doesn't get oh. it. But she loves it. Like, <laughs> this is That's awesome. Yeah. That is cute. <laughs> Oh, one more uh, thing. Uh, Edge will make sure he has plenty of uh, spicy garlic chips today. He'll have garlic chips okay. on, on standby. Yeah, you, you were God. able to pack those. Uh, Marcus, you um, are looking for a weapon of your own back at your safe house, correct? Yeah, it's a very specific one. It's not anything specific in the sense of, of like mechanic wise, but it's like RP wise, it's very specific. Uh, and what weapon would that be? Okay, gonna show my hand here. It's a, um, <laughs> it's 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 a nineteen eleven, like uh, forty five nineteen eleven, and it's got the um, the Holy Mother etched into the um, to the side of the gun, and um, on the. Uh, on the barrel of it or in the outside chamber of the barrel what's also etched into it is uh the word uh, marcu or the name marcuccio from romeo and juliet hmm. uh yeah and this is something you've already procured right uh 
that you have had at Thrones. It, had it since I've been running. Yeah. I say you're able to grab this uh, at your safe house no, on the way. No special bullets or anything. It's just that, that gun. Okay. So you grab that after a visit with your Nana. Um, uh, Edge, you make your morning run. You stop at the uh, convenience. You stop at 7-Eleven and grab uh, some garlic chips. And uh, Ray, after your uh, you grab your weapon from one of your contacts and the bullets, and the four of you you meet up uh, with Finn, who is still deep in the books. Um, as the four of you reconvene, um, you also are uh, met with Jude, uh, who does update you for the day. Um, I was able to take care of. The ghoul. She, uh, she didn't have much. Uh, disgusting, filthy thing. I, uh, I'm still looking about the, uh, the footage, though. Um, I had one of my guys, Mickey, take a look at it. He works at a pawn shop. He might be able to, uh, fix it, put it back together, and we can see what exactly it was she was looking for because whatever it is it must be uh, a dark secret but uh, I don't have too much for you all yet hopefully all is going well with the investigation uh, it's going I guess the real question is last night at the diner did we discuss whether or not we were going to talk to Jude about the feds before I say anything in character in this moment. Did we I think discuss it would that, y'all? I, th I think it would be best he knew. Yeah. So I'll yeah. I'll fill Jude in on yeah. what happened. Fe federal agents on the scene. Well, should have known that that might happen. Shit. Well, I think you all made the right choice. They shouldn't be too much of a problem for the rest of you. Just, here's uh... The, here's the problem. We got evidence of wolves and blanks. Yeah. Is there something you know that we don't? Or should know? There aren't any... It could be a territorial thing. I know a lot of times the uh, blank bodies think they own certain areas. And then the mangy mutts try to encroach on their territory. And yes, there can be some turf wars, I guess. As stupid as that sounds. But they're not killing each other, which is the confusing part. Is there any way, any way at all, Jude, that maybe, I don't know, the blanks have hired them as security? Hired the wolves as security. No. Honestly, wolves are more dangerous than the blanks. They're more Man. of a threat. I mean, any dog can be trained with the right, you know, whatever. True. Trainer. I mean, it could be more than one creature. If this last killing, from what they're saying, at least in the news, there is. There is a type of blank that uh, that does that kind of thing, you know? They're that can... called. They're yeah. Uh... Oh, hey Jude, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> How's the uh, studying going? It's a tribal symbol. Hmm. The the symbol on the pots. So that Tribe. confirms it could be a wolf. Well, tribal symbols inside the free leaf definitely. Maybe the owner of the free leaf is a wolf. And. Maybe. Could it all have been just a fucking coincidence then? But if it's. That second killing is what's throwing me off. I mean, the head was ripped off. Wolves are capable of that, but it's not. 
looked like flesh sculpting though. I Might think it's. That shit. I think it's a flesh crafter. As a matter of fact, I know it's got to be a flesh crafter because I've seen that before. Uh, oh my! War on two fronts. Hmm. Just, you have to be extra careful and be equipped for both of them. Well, yeah, that's awesome. gonna. Uh, he can chop off a werewolf's head, he can chop off a vampire's head. You're right, and that is one of the best ways to take care of them. We also got so stakes. That'll... That'll knock him out. It won't kill him, but it'll definitely help. I got some silver bullets. I can requisition some stuff for you guys, too. Let's see, let's see. And you're muted. You're muted, uh... And I'm pretty sure if none of that works, Edge rancid ass breath will probably knock him out for sure. Dude, you smell. Yeah, what are dude, you? What the fuck with this garlic shit? What do you mean? I feel like that's self explanatory and it's delicious. Uh, you... Garlic, uh. Garlic doesn't. doesn't always work. Well, it can't hurt. There are okay, some. It's gonna like hurt me like garden. fucking sinuses shit. You got a point. Hey, it'll clear you out, man. It's spicy garlic, too. It'll clear you oh, out. Give me some of those. Yeah, yeah. No. You know it does work, Faith. You converted her real quick. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, and Faith. Yeah. Dude, what happened to your head? I don't really, uh, rather not talk about it. Something that happened a long time ago with my my wife your wife Ooh. did your wife maybe you got like little yeah. devil horns under there or something right they're shaved down <laughs> <laughs> not really funny my wife she was one of those flesh crafters oh sh oh she tried to she tried to craft oh. you I took a dark turn which is why I know this is one of them <laughs> Uh, what Dude, happened? We gotta to your sit wife? down more often. Yeah. Is, is it, could this be your wife? No, it's not her. Yeah, something tells me it is that it's. She's gone now. Far removed. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just want to make sure you know. We would have so been taking care of it for you. You so, know, we got so, your back. So faith helps. I assume you have something for us to procure said faith believe in usually is how you start but yeah if you have something <laughs> like holy water that usually works oh i i do actually cool can you i got some water bottles can you like bless them does that work like that well if any of you stop by the church anymore like you used to i could have uh given you a refill but i never no, see you around me. anymore <laughs> Oh, does it have yeah. to be done on hallowed ground, too? You can't do on-the-spot blessings? Come on. Look, everybody, all of us have our specialties. I know uh, one of my buddies can do exorcisms. He looks at uh, he looks at you, Finn, when he says that. But uh, not all of us have every specialty in the clergy. Mm. I don't do demons. <clears throat> well, I think you all need to be safe and just make sure if you do have feds on your trail that you don't leave too much carnage behind any anything that they could pin against you later on. Just be careful. If you made an enemy of them, they might try to make it hurt later. They're not really to be tr They may seem really like nothing on the outside, but they do have a lot on the inside. So just be careful. Interesting. And out of curiosity, um, Jude, if we were to, let's say, be stuck in um, a, 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 a quarrel with blank bodies and wolves, um, 
What do we do? Let them fight it out. If they do it in front of you, that's a bigger problems for them. True, true, okay. Yeah, I'd rather Let's... let them hurt each other. They'll do a lot more damage to each other than we'll do to them off the bat. Yeah, and we can pick up the scraps, you know, take out the winner. Yeah, exactly. Which will probably be the wolf. Probably. In question, uh, could this be a hybrid? Could it be a wolf? A wolf Underworld? blank? Is that one of your movies? <laughs> yeah, it's from Underworld. Yeah. Underworld. Come on, man. That's not real. Wait, that's I'm just real. asking. That's, you know. that's about as, that is about I as unreal think... as the garlic thing. Man. Hey, I didn't yeah, know any of this was real shit. until a few years ago, all right? So, you know. I passed um, my vape pen to Marcus while this conversation is happening. Jude, I'm just going to answer that of you. Is it possible, you know? Jude, what Not do you... Not from anything I've seen, no. Okay. What do you know about these guys? And he'll, he'll hold up the pamphlet from the church. Yes, the, the cult. <laughs> he takes a laugh. They are nothing. Not even worth worrying about. The Order of the Rose. They're a... Another organization, a group. They think that they can keep neighborhoods safe by purging the unclean. Hmm. But they're nothing more than a community watch. Could they have tried to uh, t step up their game, you know? Be more than just a watch? What if they're trying to be hunters? What if they're working with... They've accumulated enough people to join their society to be somewhat intimidating. But I really don't think that they are worth any of your time or any of your effort personally. Hmm. Too many moving pieces. We're just trying to knock them down, you know? But that's a good point. All right, so... I'll go with Jude on this one, uh, I think. Next hmm. steps, then. Do we return back to the Free Leaf now that it's daytime and try to get some intel, or... There hasn't been any murders last night after we left, was there? I didn't see any reported in, no. Okay. I mean, if we go there during the day and say it is Wolf Run, what are we gonna do? I mean, they're probably not they're probably not dumb enough to expose themselves during the day. No. That's to our advantage. We don't want them. Yeah, Can't but what if but what if I'm wrong? Then, middle, uh, of the, middle of the taste? I don't know about that. That's that's risky. We got something that maybe can like lure them out or maybe enhance our reaction. Whistle. The fucking dog whistle. <laughs> Man, I could like walk around with a steak in my pocket or something. I don't know. I mean, you smell uh, bad <laughs> enough, Ed. Hey, yeah, I. Let's, let's not add it to if you want me to, I'll be bait. If you want me to be bait tonight, you know, I'll do it. I think hmm. right now, I mean, we got a we got a lot of information, but we have no wait, nothing wait, to wait, solve. Wait, wait. That's not a bad idea. Damn, as long as I have my sword, I'm I have to be in bait. Yeah, both, can't wolves smell real good and shit? Both victims were young males. They can. I'm also a young male. That he is. Mm -hmm. But what is? What was hmm. the triggering? Yeah, what's what, their what made them pull why? the trigger? We know that Aaron went to Freeleaf. Well, we don't know, but we assume with the soil in his shoes matching the footprints in the Freeleaf, we know he was there. Joey, on the other hand, ended up at practically all of the locations, including the Eyes Delight. We do know that Aaron is an art critic. Art critic. Maybe Eyes Delight is our next stop. Yeah, we could just retrace yeah. their footsteps. I can act like an asshole the whole time. Walk yep. in an alley by myself. Eyes by Delight myself. is the Eyes Delight is the only place we haven't been. True. That's the art gallery, yeah? Yeah. Got it. So I say we start there and see what we can find. Okay. Sounds good to me. <clears throat> so you all grab your gear, your your arsenal, and uh and your refreshed minds for the evening um and 
after some time in the day and it begins to get toward dusk when the taste does open up. Uh, it's the it's about eight o'clock, eight thirty as the sun's beginning to go down for the evening. And you all once again park, you go in the various parking locations and head up to the taste. And sure enough, once again, bustling and busy, despite some of the crimes and things that have been written in the papers, the true villain is capitalism because <laughs> they do not stop the taste of Chicago for anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the true enemy of, uh, of the world in that despite multiple crimes and sure right now they're pinning it to be an animal attack Fuck. not anything that people are worth <laughs> but there are two crimes that happen to taste of chicago but the people still come and though it may be slightly less busy as it's now a sunday uh it's still busy and there are still people walking across the navy pier there are still people grabbing various foods treats you see people as you walk by the kiosk being uh, lured in to buy fresh scents and lotions <laughs> from a very sleazy looking salesman. And you see people heading into the Centennial, which is a giant Ferris wheel. You see the rides on the pier. You hear the live music. And you head toward an art gallery. It's a pop-up art gallery called The Eyes Delight. As you head in, um, it doesn't look like it's hugely crowded. Uh, there's a couple of patrons observing various paintings on the wall. It's a gallery filled with many modern art pieces. And what you gather the most from are these various types of splatter paintings on different canvases. You see a lot of the people here are more uh, upper brow people. If you see like a young couple come in that maybe are like young, they don't stay for too long. Uh, they may take a look around and then head immediately out because it doesn't really speak to them the way it does to some of the upper class, mm. uh, the, the more elite who love to take a look and see what this art truly means to them. And you uh, take a look around. Is there anything in particular that any of you do upon first entering into this art gallery? Is the art by one artist or is it by different artists? You look and it does look like it's all by one artist. Uh, hmm. It's all by uh, the name of an artist called it's called the Exclusive Zampano Collection. Zampano? Zampano. Exclusive Zampano. Zampano. <laughs> and upon walking in, again, a few people you see staring around, looking closer, you see none other than Rebecca. Oh, I knew. Mm. Short hair, short red hair. She looks a little, a little better today than you did see her the previous night as her makeup isn't running down her face from crying. She looks a little more collected, a little more well-kempt than she did the previous night. Though still looking like she has dark circles under her eyes, still looking like she hasn't slept much in the past two nights. But you do see her standing across the way in the gallery. Is she, uh, she working or is she enjoying herself? I missed that part. It looks like She's working as somebody comes up to her and asks her about a piece and she begins talking about it. This one, he can barely, he cannot bear the weight of his years. And you look and it's literally just a splatter painting. <laughs> oh, I'm going over to talk to her. Whoever follows, follows. Oh, I'm yeah, following. I'm oh, follow I'm right this. behind you, buddy. <laughs> and the four of you 
Uh, I'm, but, I'm doing my own thing. Okay. I'm okay. walking around, Finn, taking notes. Yes. Finn walking around. The three of you begin to quickly and rapidly approach Rebecca. And as she's standing there, sitting there and talking to this, uh, this patron, she, her eyes just kind of dart more and more at you all. Uh, she looks a little nervous and she tries to hurry the conversation and push them away uh, as you all quickly approach as she keeps taking double glances. I wasn't trying to quickly approach. I'm walking <laughs> casual. You like, can see shit. by by the color he uses, um, the, <laughs> how he conveys the person's struggle, um, and, and and the hints of greens, uh, possibly their their struggle with with um, uh, financials or, or 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 maybe even nature itself. Um, but yeah, no, um, there's so many wonderful pieces by Zampano here. Um, it looks uh, like a bunch of lots. Let me know if you me. have any other questions. Uh, hi, hi. Can I, can I help you? Hey, buddy. Hi. Happy to see hey, you back in the street. Becca. Hi. You didn't hey, tell family. us you worked here. I don't see how that matters. I mean, it seems kind of relevant. But... Yeah, you did say you and uh, your your boyfriend came through here. Yeah, we did. I was showing him the gallery. Did he mm -hmm. say something negative about the gallery? No. He just, you know, had too much to drink. Um, would you guys like a tour or? Yeah. Right, sure. guys. We got yeah. we got time for something quick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah tour sounds good. Well, um, this is the Zampano collection. Uh, it's um, uh, it's very resplendent piece. Are you guys fans of modern art? Yeah, a little bit. Who, who's Zampano though? Where yeah. are they from? Um, I think he originally comes from LA, um, but he's uh, mm. he's well respected in the field. His pieces, for some, they they speak on, on a higher level than than you know a lot of traditional art it, it's How not so about I... what you see on the canvas it's it's about what <laughs> what sort of you see through the canvas if that makes sense because uh, all i see are like some splotches and looks like it's, he's splattered paint it's a lot more than that um actually it's it's the choices of color canvas um the paints he uses the texture texture means a lot too can i touch is that oh, we, we would recommend you not touch the painting, no, it's, please. No, it's about the visual texture. Oh, and what oh. you see through the canvas. Yes. That's probably good. My hands are a little... Yeah, yeah no, you got... Yeah. Don't touch the art. Rebecca, how are you after the other day? I'm, I'm okay. I'm just... Still processing everything that happened, and right. I am. I just, yeah. You're you're not here to ask me more questions about that, are you? We're, yeah, we're, we're here to ask you questions about you and how you're doing. I'm. I'm fine. I just. The, some guys from the FBI came here earlier, and and they. They just, they gave me the riot act and I'm just not yeah. ready to go through that again. They made me look like an idiot in front of my boss. What'd they ask you? They want to know, they want to know if, if, if Joey was part of any kind of dark scenes or if he, mm -hmm. if he was into, if he was into like, like, like body image stuff, or or if I was into that, I'm I'm not. I I barely could go th through with the idea of the tattoo. I, I left early, so that's not that's not yeah. really my thing. Joey, I guess, How was more into it, but I mean, he wasn't. You know, I I think I think he just wanted a tattoo. I don't I don't know, but they were pretty aggressive. Oh, you you got. I know you left the tattoo early, but you got something, right? They started it? Yeah, it's just, it's just a... It was supposed to be a heart in mine and Joey's name, and it's cliche, but... Mm. 
How does that look, Storyteller? Does it just look like it's your standard healing, or does it... Is there, does there seem something off? About... The re- tattoo. About the tattoo itself. Mm-hmm. Um... It looks like it's standard healing, honestly. Yeah. It doesn't... Yeah. What a quick question. What did your boss think of Joey? He was annoyed. I mean, he made he made a scene, but it's, it's fine. My my boss is a really nice guy. Who is your boss? See here. Uh well, technically I, I work for the the gallery owner, but um whenever we have artists and uh, I work on behalf of the artist to represent their work and and make sure um their pieces are displayed appropriately so i actually right now i I work for zampano is he around or not today um he comes in and out he has a studio upstairs um but uh he he'll occasionally make the rounds it's probably uh a little bit off kilter, but when you and your boyfriend came in here, what was his take on the art? Honestly, I, he said it was cool, but it, like I said, he had, he had a lot to drink. He wasn't acting right that night. I don't know what got into him. I I thought I could trust him, and he just was acting really weird, and I, I didn't know what to do, and so after after that, we 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 left, and then it's when he came up with the idea to get a tattoo. Mm. <clears throat> oh, but you guys, I'd like to meet the artists if they're here. Yeah. What do you guys think? Help better explain, <clears throat> so I can understand it. You know. Um, well, uh, you know, if you want to hang around, you can, um, these are some of his more recent pieces. Um, this one's, uh, called Fallen Giant. Um, you can see kind of the subject is sort of like reaching out as, as if trying to grasp the, the viewer. Um, uh, again, this is just like a splatter painting. Um, mm. but, but if you can sort of see like a an image of like a hand reaching out. It's almost, um, some people say it's like the artist trying to reach out to the viewer um, in, in a way that sort of invokes a, a, a search for meaning or, or a connection. I, I see that. What's the price point on this? Oh, that one goes for about um, 3000 mm. For that? I'm in the wrong or... business. Right. Do do we see anything with the art or <clears throat> anything with the gallery display that can kind of like ring a bell and what we've noticed or These just something look looks like um, abstract modern paintings, really? Okay, I'm good. I'm going to kind of branch off from the group at this point if they're still walking around. Yeah, and Finn, you were off doing your own thing. Was there anything in particular you were uh, doing off to the side? Yeah, so with the the knowledge of, you know, this tribal symbol, I think that's kind of like what his where his mind at is at mm. today. Like, you know, his mind, like he had a question, he found the answer, and now he's obsessing on that answer. So mm-hmm. I think today his mind is like, all right, so if werewolves mark their things with tribal stuff, um, are there any repeating patterns in this art that would reveal anything here, essentially? Um, I'm not even going to have you roll if that's particularly what you're looking for, because you don't see that there is any sort okay. of connection to those symbols that you saw. In any of these paintings, well, maybe maybe not uh, specifically the werewolf symbol, but other types of repeating symbols. 
this idea of symbology mm. and marking ownership or territory is now in his head. Um, sure. Make me just a wits and investigation. One second. That's 13 successes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for it, man. Uh, not that, not that high. Uh, two successes. Two successes. It doesn't look like there's anything you can gather from this gallery of any sort of sim symbolism. Uh, you know, any, I, have, yeah. I have the willpower. I'm going to re-roll some. How many can I re-roll? You can re-roll three of oh, those. Just hit re-roll failures? Yeah, if you hit re-roll failures, it should auto-roll all of your failures. Uh, still only two. Two successes, yep. yeah. You're not able to gather much uh, as far as sim symbolism uh, in Got this it. gallery. Just okay. beautiful paintings. Objective. Okay. okay. He's going to, uh, he'll, he'll come join the group um, after doing his little okay. staring at paintings and trying to understand what the meaning is behind all this stuff. This one is called Woman on the Sun. Uh, you can see how she kind of stands defiantly against the sun's heat, um, almost like you know, like her beauty, you know, sort of stands in contrast to that, and and how the the sort of heat and 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 pressure of looking good in a modern day sort of bears on us like the heat of the sun. But it would. Kill Rebecca. Well, this one, yeah. Well, I'm. Well, I mean, no. The subject. That's not how most people see it. Oh. Huh. Um, but that piece goes for about 10,000. <clears throat> Jesus Christ. Gosh. Hey, 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 Finn, you got a picture of that thing that we saw yesterday? Of what thing? The symbol. <laughs> no. Okay. <clears throat> cool. Uh... Let me, let me see your pen real quick. I grab the pen and I draw the symbol on my hand and I show her the symbol as best as I can and go, does it look familiar to you? No. Yeah. Striking out left and right. <clears throat> <clears throat> well, maybe we'll, we'll be around. Uh, hopefully we see uh Empire boss. Old. Yeah, Zampano. Does he have? Is it? Is it like Prince? He says one name, like Edge. Yeah, it's just Zampano. <laughs> yeah. Zampano. Like Prince. Like Prince. <laughs> Jeez. Compared yourself to Prince, dude. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> like how Edge dare you? or Prince. How dare you? <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, well, y'all wanna we can look around some other places and swing back by once. Yeah. You don't seem... I want cheese fries. You don't seem yeah. that worked up after losing your boyfriend last night, Rebecca. Back to work so soon? Funeral? Wake arrangements? Anything like that? We dated, like, twice. I... You said you dated for six months. Yeah, we... Mostly over the phone and... and... Mostly, like, through Tinder and stuff. But you were willing to get a tattoo with this guy? He was adamant about it, and I did leave early. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not having the right enough reaction for you guys. I, I didn't realize there was a wrong way to be upset. That's fair. <sighs> That's understandable. Understandable, yet suspicious. <laughs> I already heard suspicious. this once before. Yeah. From who? I, I already told your friends that the guys from the FBI came here earlier, all right? And and they already gave me the riot act. Oh, the sad boys. Yeah, the sad boys. Yeah. I don't even know what that means. And who even are you people? You've been asking me questions? Do you... <laughs> Where? Uh, Mordecai Steele. You can call me Mordecai Steele. <laughs> We're concerned citizens. Missionaries, if you will. 
No, look, I don't know anything about... I don't know anything else about what happened to Joey. It was tragic and sad, but... Just... I don't know. That's life, I guess. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Tracy, does, does yes. she have any distinctive marks? Maybe piercings? Any other tattoos or anything else? She has just her ears pierced. Um, and the only tattoo that she, you can see that she has is that one that still is like a half a heart. And where is that located? It's on her wrist, uh, like on the edge of her wrist. Um, and like you observed earlier, it looks like it's like a standard tattoo. It's healing kind of normally a couple of days post. Uh, it still looks a little raw, but um, yeah, that's about all you notice on her. Gotcha. Okay. So do you all remain here at the gallery, uh, continue to question Rebecca, or do you head out and try to find other leads? What's your I'm next? I'm heading out. Yeah, I'm, Ray does I'm not down. see does not see anything of use here. I'm down Dang. to piss off everyone and see who comes after me. Have, have you guys met Zampano? He's not no? down yet, so we can swing back around and see if he. Well, why don't you stay here? We yeah. Can, two two people can stay here and wait for Zampano, and two people can go talk to the Order of the Rose. But that, that, those are my, you know, those, those are like my main suspects. I kind of wanted to. You want to do both of them? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Maybe we just come back. We can come back. No, like, no, we'll no, be no, Edge, you, you. I like, I like that spark in your eye. Let's, let's follow Edge's, Edge's uh, lead. Yeah, I, I told you, I'm trying to be bad. I'm trying to piss everyone off. No, no, no I, let, yeah. I like it. I like it. Let's, let's do it. All right, well. well Who's leaving? And who's, uh, and where are you heading to? Uh, I think Edge is gonna go try to talk to the Rose people. Uh, so Edge is gonna go talk to the Order of the Rose. Uh, is anybody going with Edge? Oh, I'm, I, I would like to talk to the Order of the Rose for sure. Okay. Perfect. But uh, at, like, are wait, are we all going, or do we are we do we have to split up? Because if we have to split up, we don't yeah. Have what's your is that, what's is your that thought the proposal process? here? My thought process is like we could meet the artist, but I don't know. Seems seems like kind of a dead end to me. Um, okay. I think our next best bet is order the rose, but. If we want someone to stay and meet the artist just to close the loop, like Ray would probably be okay with doing that. Uh, before we go, what kind of shoes does Rebecca wear? Um, she looks like she's wearing uh, like Converse. Okay. Low tops. And what about her teeth? <laughs> <laughs> what about her teeth? Nice yeah. pearly whites. Okay. Short nice. red hair. Normal, normal. Freckles. Um, she's got short red hair, freckles. Uh, no uh, protruding canines, potentially. Some nice. Looks like she had braces as a teenager because her teeth are nice and straight. Also, does she wear her retainer? This... No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Is yeah. this <laughs> is this nighttime? Because is is Taste of Chicago only at night? No, it's through, it's from the day to the night. In, so I mean, in real, life, in, in real life. Are we in daytime right now? It's the evening. Uh, okay. in, in in World of Darkness, uh, it's only at night. <laughs> it's dark. Okay. I want to. I want to. I want to do this storyteller. Like, I want to. I want to turn around. Hopefully, like, I'm in the back of the troop here a little bit, and I want to take out the holy water and I want to hand sanitize it right, like on my hands, mm -hmm. and then I want to go up to Rebecca and be like, you know what? It was through all of this it was very lovely meeting you and extend my hand for like a handshake or a high five or something she goes to shake your hand and it doesn't seem like she reacts to your handshake she shakes it normally you just got wet hands now you just got, got wet, wet weird, weird wet hands 
She's uh, like, well, she kind of recoil, like she heavy. looks at she looks at it, but she doesn't recoil or anything. Uh, like she doesn't react. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's just like. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> hand hand sanitizer. Sorry. Catch you later. We should go. Yes. <laughs> Okay. And, uh, as we walk away, Edge is going to like, kind of back toward out of Rebecca's view. Uh, rub his fingers across one of the paintings. His uh, oh. <laughs> icy garlic fingers. <laughs> so it's just like a oil uh. stain. And <laughs> oh as, man! As you do that, um, and you wipe your hand across, you see a man appear. Oh. He walks out <laughs> from downstairs and begins to walk up to you. He's a well-dressed man in a nice dark collared shirt. Looks like he has one earring on the side of his ear. Okay. His hands, uh, his collared shirt is rolled up. He wears nice slacks. His hands look like they have a bit of paint still on them. Mm -hmm. As he approaches you after wiping your finger on his painting. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep walking. It's kind of like, excuse me, young man. Oh, here we go. Uh, huh? What's up? Why did you do that? Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. Do what? Give his check. Give his check. Rubbed your hand on my painting. Oh, did I? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't even realize. Yes, and left greasy garlic residue all over it. Got. It's, it's a smell. I'm so, I'm sorry. Really, I didn't mean to. I must have accidentally brushed up against it. These so paintings I, I mean can, a lot to me, you know. I can like wipe it off. You have like a rag that or something. That won't be necessary. Okay. See, you have to understand. These paintings mean very much to me. So, oh, are you uh, Zam 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 Akazam? Oh, do old, do old. This is uh, Zamboni. What's Zampano? Zampano. Ah, uh, yes, I've heard a lot about you um, in your blotch art. Ooh! As an artist, this physically pains me like so much. <laughs> is is this just Edge? By the way, did he I'm like so you? Because you were last out, right? Uh, yeah. I was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would say you all are heading out and you realize, yeah. where's Edge? Uh, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> as you turn around uh, and head back in and see him wonder, talking with this man. What is important to you in your life? Honestly. Uh, movies. I'm more of a, you know, motion <laughs> graphics kind of guy. You know, not just movies. Static. Yeah. You are you a movie fan or just uh, paintings? Ever come back to this gallery? That's fair. <laughs> That's fair. Yeah. Uh, see you around. Not here though. Around Chicago. Bye. Please. And you all see uh, this man uh, escorting Edge out. <laughs> and the four of you reconvene. <laughs> well, Who was that? That was uh, the great Zampano. Uh, oh, did you question him? Uh, I made him hate me. So uh, if he tries to murder me, that's, I got a good reason for why he would want to do that. But did you ask him anything? Like, just... no, I kind of got like I did like a you know a scan, little threat analysis of him. Uh, I didn't catch anything that looked too uh, uh, alarming. But you know, we're gonna have to buy a painting now to fucking smooth this over. No, I'm just not allowed back there. Oh my god, Edge! I got banned. Yeah. Which is fair. How does that help? How does that help, Boy Scout? How does that help us? Because now he wants to murder me. So if he comes to murder me, boom, oh. we caught him. I laid the trap. The trap is set. He did say he wants to be bait. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, I want cheese fries. <laughs> It's, 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 uh, order, I'm, order just, of, I'm just or, walking off to go get something on the way. <laughs> order of the Rose? Order of the Rose. Yeah, the yes. Rose on the way, right? The it's the fucking food fest. Come on. Yes, yeah. you head, um, and you do seem uh, various stands. You are able to stop and get some cheese fries. Yeah. Um, there's funnel cakes. Uh, but of course, there's nicer things. There's a nice wine tasting stand. Um, and you all uh, head back uh, in the main area of the boardwalk toward the uh, the two, the lovely couple uh, that stands there. The woman wears a nice rose in her hair and has a rose uh, necklace. The man, again, also well-dressed. <clears throat> and uh, they look at you and smile. Oh, I gave him a pamphlet yesterday. I got this one. I'm just like slurping my giant lemonade like obnoxiously. <laughs> and it looks like you still kept it. That's a great sign. Did you I come did. to ask more questions? I did, yes. Oh. Would you like to learn more about the Order of the Rose? I would love to. Guess so. I'm, I'm so Yeah, same. I'm so inquisitive about what you guys do. Well, you see, we know that there are dangerous threats. The woman continues to speak. We know that there are dangerous things in our neighborhoods and communities and it's really it's up to us to keep our neighborhood safe it starts with the family it starts with us keeping our neighborhood safe from the things that could harm us like what sorts of things like yeah. isn't that kind of like the police's job like neighborhood uh, watch oh yes are? uh of course, yes. The police are a great help in these things, but sometimes when you tell them about things, they they don't always listen. And mm. and that's where the neighborhood watch comes in. Yes, the Order of the Rose. We like to take care of things and make sure that our families are safe. Got it. So what what things um, do you guys protect from? I'm I'm interested. Mm. Well, and she looks to her husband. There was that one thing that came. Uh, it was... It was, uh... It was in the loop, was it not? Or no, no, it was Gold Coast. Gold Coast. There was uh, a string of horrible attacks there. People were going about their nights and suddenly they couldn't remember what happened. It was, it was horrible what happened. And we find that we like to get to the bottom of it. We spend our time in the evening making sure that people are safe. We travel together in, in, in groups. That's why my husband here is with me. And we like to make sure everybody stays safe. We uh, weed yeah. out the unclean. You guys travel in groups a lot? Yes, usually. The unclean. Yes. Define, define unclean. Like, like homeless people? No, no. That's what the communities are for. Uh, they help with that. More things of what seem a little bit more unnatural and unholy. Mm. You, you know I the understand. story of, of Sodom and Gomorrah, yes? Of course, yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Things like Sorry, that. Sorry, Taylor, I look at their feet. <laughs> what you got going on there? <laughs> um, the woman looks like she's wearing heels. Dainty. Um, and the man is wearing just like nice uh, dress shoes. Hey, man, those you got some. You got some nice, nice loafers there. Some. Some some lemon pepper steppers. What size are those? Pepper steppers. Uh, the man looks at you. Uh, a size uh ten and a half. Really, a ten and a half? Those are more like a lemons to me, man. Uh, are you interested in in these shoes? I got them at the uh, DSW warehouse. Oh uh, yeah, no. Uh, well, kind of, yeah, maybe. Yeah. 
So with um, with the the taste going on, um, have you guys done any work around here? Is is this like a prime spot for See, a natural what... Sodom and Gomorrah type things? We have been sensing unnatural presences here, and that's where we need people like you, your help. You can help us purge the unclean. Okay, you... I, I, I like what I'm hearing. What, what, how can I help? How do you purge? Hmm. Well. Like the movie? Hmm. <laughs> We like to take these individuals in and let them learn about God, learn about the good things that he can do for us. Uh... Life improvement classes, we take them to. We'll capture them. Oh, capture. <laughs> That's a, a funny. Uh, we take them in of course, and of course, yeah. <laughs> we make sure that they um, learn about all of the good things that they could do. You see, uh, everybody is like their own rose, and it takes time for you to blossom into something mm -hmm. beautiful. Sometimes you gotta do some pruning, you know? True, sometimes you do have to pluck out the thorns. Get your hands dirty a little bit? Yes. Um, And, and your names were? Well, I'm Liliana. And this is my husband. Uh, and let me just pull up. Robert. Oh, Bob. Um, nice to meet you, Bob. Robert. <clears throat> Robert and Liliana. You know, I'm. what you're saying is really resonating with me. Especially coming from a, a history that I've come from, you see it all the time. It seems like it's a pipeline from from one end of the spectrum to another, and so many people just get lost among the waste. I mean, you got all of these kids around from like these universities coming just completely drunk and destroying the community, and then you got these, these, these suit type people who are more concerned about money than the actual well-being of their fellow man like that's something that's so infuriating i'm glad you agree yeah you know sometimes when i i, I see them you know because i do a lot of community outreach within my own personal community as well um you know sometimes when you see that I, you just you just get this burning fiery passion i mean of course, we're here to help, right? Hmm. But sometimes the best way to help is just to get rid of the problem entirely. But that's just me. Like, I sometimes I just, you know, I'm a little aggressive. And again, coming from a past lifestyle, my first instinct is to go like, ah, you know what I mean? Just kind of just like, ah, I rip somebody's head off. But, you know. I would agree. It can be useful sometimes to... Get rid of the problem entirely. Yeah, yeah. But of course, a group such as yourself, you guys take a more passive and educational approach as opposed to somebody who's a brute like me who would just want to just... Yes, of course, of course. Yeah. So what do you think about these uh, murders that have happened the past two nights here? Oh, it's quite dreadful, and it's a sign that this neighborhood is unclean and needs to be dealt with. All right. Do you think the people that were murdered were unclean, or do you think the unclean did the murdering? It could be both. Oh, interesting. Or it could just be coincidence. Just be, you know. Hmm. Yes. What do you guys? I, if I can't speak for the rest of my troop, but I am very interested in what you have going on. But I don't think that words and the therapy would be best suited to my gifts mm. between between friends because i feel like we are friends now lillian and, and robert was it yes robert 
You know, he doesn't speak much. He's silent, silent, strong type. You got a he good one there. Yes, he uh, yeah. I've trained him well. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but between friends, we know that diplomacy is the best way. Education is the best way. What happens when that's not enough? Is there a space in the rows for a little more aggressive methods of persuasion? I do think we have plenty of room for something like that. It is true that there are some who don't listen as well to our teachings and our community efforts trying to plant a beautiful garden. And so there could be a place for that as well. Sometimes righteous judgment is needed. Yeah, and sometimes you just you just gotta curb the dog, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Put that dog on a on a leash and mm-hmm. make sure yes. that you, they live. Yeah. That's you know what? Yeah. Any reaction out of Robert from that? He seems to just be smiling. Uh mm. and and he laughs a little as you say, like curb the dog, and he has a bit of a <laughs> question. <laughs> what if you have a friend that's a dog. They're a little unholy, you know? What what do I what should I do? Do you Because we're speaking among friends. Well I I'm I'm talking to our good new friends here. Oh of uh, course. No, I'm I'm right there with you. Like Marcus is I think you and I are picking up on the same thing as well as everybody. Yeah. What what happens if you have a friend that just you just can't tame or turn? Do you put hmm. the do you put the dog so to say to sleep? dog to sleep it's at this time um as you all are talking to each other it's actually the air is a bit tense and uh as they continue these two have not stopped having smiling smiles on their faces but it's actually your attention is drawn elsewhere as you're having this conversation as you hear people beginning to yell oh and run around. We need para. Does anybody know what uh, EMT? Does anybody know? There's a scream <laughs> in the background, and somebody and and there is the chaos begins to be oh, a bit shit. more palpable up among the boardwalk here on the Navy Pier. Uh, Edward just run toward the commotion. Turn and run toward the commotion. <laughs> You head toward the commotion, and you hear a scream. It sounds like a familiar scream, actually. What? A man's voice that you heard yesterday. It looks like, as you're heading toward it, you run right past the the art gallery. You turn around to the side, and you see Gerald Osborne, special agent, and his body begins contorting backwards and you see his entire head is taken and pulled all the way into his back into his behind as you see a complete contortion of his body Quick question: what? When I was when running and running by the art gallery, did we see Zampano or uh, Rebecca there? You see Rebecca run out, and you see her in a moment of panic, along with a few other patrons, and you see other people beginning to look at the scene and in horror. Do we see anybody, uh, like, channeling, like, almost, like, channeling this? Or is like, it somebody physically ripping, like, doing... Like, a, from a rooftop or an alleyway? Roll me just a wits and awareness yeah, to see what you see. Do we all roll that? Yeah, you can all roll as you're kind of gathering the scene. Five uh, and successes. I was gonna say if uh, I I would allow any of you to use desperation dice in this moment, um, though five successes. Uh, 
You might not need to. Uh... Oof. Oh, I only got two successes. Shit. Oh, damn. Um, okay. So, uh, Finn, you look around and you do not see any creatures. You do not see any persons holding their hands in a sort of manner. You do not see any, um, anything around, but as you're looking and you look back to the body, you hear a whisper in your ear, and it's a familiar voice to you, Finn. And the three of you look, you don't see anything. Uh, you all are kind of looking around as well. You're looking around, but you hear a whisper in your ear, a woman's voice. As you look, she has black hair that's tied back and a symmetrical face. The top half of it looks like it's there, but the bottom half looks like it's ripped apart, grotesque. You see the flesh and skull underneath and her piercing red eyes. You recognize this voice. It's somebody that you once previously summoned. <laughs> Yeah. As you were messing with things that you weren't supposed to mess with. She just says to you, It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's like a work of art. As she looks at the scene in front of you. Um, and I only see this? Yep. As a matter of fact, you're, you're not sure, actually. Yeah. This, you're not this... sure if other people can see this. But I can tell you, the three of you, you're still looking around and you're trying to see if you can gather anything. The three of you don't gather. You see the scene and you can tell that he is dead. Uh, you see his partner, by the way, uh, and she is looking horrified, the other uh, agent. She's alive, looking horrified, and looking to see if she can find uh, an EMT or some sort of paramedics. But Finn. Yes. You hear the voice. Mm -hmm. It's her again. Um, if, if I try to... Like, if, I, if, if, if I talk, am I talking out loud, or is it just like... Um... Like, I don't, I don't want to see, you... like, some sort of crazy person talking to no one. I don't, I'm not sure. Are you sure? You usually like that. If you... <laughs> that is true. That is true. If you try talking in your head, she doesn't reply. I think Finn would just remain silent as he takes this all in. Perhaps you're in just a little too over your head, Phineas. Maybe you should come back home. Hmm? Go back to summoning demons like me. You're not supposed to be here. Maybe I can finally be free, and you and I can be together. Ethan, mm. you're in hell. Oh. Well, dear Phineas, I hope you find who did this. I wish I could say it was me. But whoever did this, they clearly are a master at their craft. Hmm. Good luck, sweetie. <laughs> uh, if any of you are actively, uh, if you want to roll me a wits awareness, you might have heard Finn talking under his breath. If any of you... He's probably okay. also, uh, you've probably never seen him on edge if you roll high. Like, if you roll, I'd say it's like, a, probably like, he's not. What's insight? He's not good at hiding it. He's not good at, like, subterfuge. So he probably wears it on his sleeve that he is probably pretty sweaty and pale. What's insight? Um, if any of you are, are kind of looking a bit, uh, a bit deeper and see if you notice anything up with, uh, Only two with Finn. Successes. 
I'm gonna say yeah, probably I don't see not. That. Yeah, no. Not I got one success, and that makes sense though. Probably just like, hey, Finn, Finn. Yeah. None Finn. of them notice. <laughs> hey, man, what Finn. you doing, man? I, I, I was looking for whatever was causing the, 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 the head spinning into his ass. I don't, I don't know. I was just. What did you, no one saw anything else? No, nothing, nothing. No, no, we dude, need to, just. We need to get out of here, though. We, come on, we yeah, you you over here standing and stuff. Let, we need to get up out of here. The, the body is right there. What are we supposed to do with the body? Uh, investigate it. Maybe he's got something on him, like a like a talisman or a token or something like that. We can't. Or what I'm saying, if we're in prison, we got to get out of here. Then, then you hey, three leave. Hey, make it quick, man. I'll 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 just look around to make sure you're good, but make it quick. Uh, Agent Crow is there, right? Uh, yes, she is. Uh, I think Finn would be like, what What? what the hell happened? What, 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 what are I, you doing? I don't know. We were just investigating in there, and this just happened, okay? We were about to arrest the tattoo shop owner. We were on, his way, on our way to arrest him. Uh, Nazca, the tattoo shop owner. What do you have on Nazca? We think he's one of them. And so they're they're outside. Or at least I did. I don't know now. If he's not here. He didn't do this. I don't know. Hey man, Finn, clock's ticking, dog. I don't like flashing lights. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna try to like search uh, Agent, uh, whatever his name. Uh, fuck, go fuck yourself's pockets. Uh, oh, oh. Damn. <laughs> I mean, that's what he said his name was. That's what I he would, said. Uh, yes, you look, you see his um, his identification. Uh, you see some money. You don't see anything of interest. You see his weapon on his on his side. No, uh, no, like relic or anything that would turn him after the fact, like a delayed reaction. No. Uh, and it's at this time that you all have another. Uh, danger uh and desperation go up as another body was killed uh, found and the scene becomes more and more tense as people are beginning to panic uh and you do start to hear at least the sound of sirens approaching ray's already like i yeah yeah it's it's okay. same thing with marcus it's, it's kind of one of those like you know side to side things like come on hey make like a tree fucking let's go <laughs> Uh, I, I I guess with that, Finn would follow him. I, yeah, yeah. I'm, he's not gonna get arrested. Okay. Where do you all head to as you are making your way out? Do you uh, uh, head off the scene completely? Shit. Uh, Finn is wanna... staying in at the taste. He's not like fleeing. Yeah. The do we? Where do we hide? We need to hide somewhere. Well, they're not actively looking for us, but I'm, I definitely don't want to be there where it happened because we're going to be one of yeah. the first people's question. Yeah. I want to go back to where the 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 Rose people are. I'm pretty sure they're not out there, but I want to go back to that area. Like, I feel like that's distant enough. Yep. You you head back. Um, there are still there's still some activity, like not everybody has like fled the scene after this happened. Um, there are people who are in more of a panic state. There are some people kind of leaving. Um, and yeah, you guys are at least like out of the immediate area of this danger and threat. Cool. Uh, oh, shit. Have y'all ever seen something like that? That's... Uh, live body modification turning in and out? No, that's a yeah, new that, one for me. That wasn't in Blade 1, 2, or Trinity, man. That's, <laughs> that's, that's a first. <laughs> no, but it was very interesting. I'll have to... I have to... I, 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 I might have something on this at home, but we don't have time. That's a third body in 20, you know, 48 hours. Tattoo shop? Yeah, and it's... I mean... I mean, could well, it have been the artist? Like, you pissed him off. Maybe he just attacked the next person to piss him off because he. Maybe, yeah, it doesn't seem like he was the tattoo artist because they were trying to get to the tattoo artist. 
Did we see Did Zampano while we were there, or just uh, Rebecca? Um, what did you all roll uh, for your wits uh, awareness? Mine was not. Mine was not great. I don't think. Two mine zero were... two. You did say that we did see Rebecca run out in the rush. Yeah. yeah. Yes, you saw Rebecca run out um, to see what was going on. Uh, okay. Oh, I rolled a five on my wits awareness. You rolled a five. I would say mm-hmm. you saw him looking from the window in the upper window. You saw Zampano looking down at the scene. So uh, without upstairs. Without, so like, but he wasn't like. Re- uh, what would his facial facial features look like? And he like he wasn't. You just out saw him about. looking. Got it. Okay. Zampano, I, I saw him in the window as I was looking around. I got a little distracted, but he was up there staring down. I don't. I don't know if there's something you can do. Uh, mind control, te- you know, telekinesis, anything like that. That's that. It was pretty hardcore. I'm not sure. I, look, this, that 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 was a new one for me. I'm, I'm being honest. I I, is, I don't I don't have. Is that what they were saying? What like flesh sculpting or something? Is that what that is? That that, that does sound something like like what you would just say. Yes. Wouldn't he have to have something on him to be able to do that, or they can just... I I don't know. Do that at will from wherever they... Yeah, it's terrifying. I don't don't know much about flesh sculpting. I don't have many books on flesh sculpting. I don't want my head in my own ass. Either. Let's, uh... Yeah, we have to um, end whoever... I don't want to... I don't want to be around here. Uh, let's go... Let's go to the tattoo shop. They're all obsessed with flesh sculpting. Literally, (laughs) right? You all begin to walk toward the tattoo shop and edge. As you're walking, not my head into my ass. <laughs> <laughs> you begin to feel funny. No. <laughs> For a second, your eyes are kind of scratchy and like you have bad sinus pressure. And it's like beginning to hurt a little bit more and more. And you're walking. And you guys notice Edge slows down a little bit as he's kind of grabbing his head and his sinuses. He even takes off his glasses. He takes off his glasses and it's at this moment you see his eyes begin to bulge bigger and bigger. And suddenly his eyes fall out of his head. (laughs) Almost in a cartoony, uncanny sense, his eyes completely inflate and pop out onto the ground. And you stare at your fellow cellmate. In almost a moment of horror and panic and shock, his eyes on the ground in front of him. In absolute pain and agony, you grab your face, you can no longer see. And that is where we will stop for the evening. (laughs) As... It's just a painting, bro! (laughs) Damn. As our dear Edge loses his eyes, loses his sight. And we will find out what happens next week, or not next week. We'll find uh, out what Thursday. happens this Thursday. coming Thursday and see how our cell uh. is able to confront whatever is, it is in front of them. In our finale of Hunter the Reckoning, we hope to see you all this Thursday as we will also have a giveaway. We are going to be giving away Ooh. the uh, Lines Drawn in Blood uh, Hunter the Reckoning new book that came out from Renegade Games. Uh, if you want some inspiration to run your own Hunter game, this is a great opportunity. More details will be uh, this week. We will share more about that. But we don't want you to go anywhere because we're actually doing another game right after this. So in the next 30 minutes, it's actually going to be starting at 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, though we usually start uh, at 6.30. Uh, our lovely Tales of Thunder Episode 2 is going to be happening in approximately 30 minutes. 
Uh, we will take a break, uh, and you can all enjoy the break screen, hang out, grab yourself a snack, grab yourself something to drink. Uh, we won't go offline, um, so you can all just hang out here as we get ourselves ready to start uh, our double header and uh, have episode two of Tales of Thunder. And then, of course, tomorrow, Blades in the Dark. Uh, definitely don't want to miss that. And Friday, Cyberpunk Red. So just be here all week. Uh, Wednesday, we're off, but you should just be here for the rest of the week. Uh, <laughs> we've got a lot going on, and it's going to be really intense. So we hope to see you there. Stay tuned for second episode. I don't know why that came out weird. The second episode of Tales of Thunder. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. 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 Thanks, everyone. Bye. Hey. Blind. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, that makes sense.